Good evening, everybody. I'm Jim Leahy, along with uh, Rick Blanjardi, as we begin our television coverage for tonight's game here at Aloha Stadium. It is going to be an outstanding game tonight. You can tell that by the excitement of the crowd, Rick. I think it is another great finale to a University of Hawaii football season. This crowd is up. They're ready for a good football game, and they're giving the seniors just a great tribute right now as they introduce them. As we mentioned, 21 seniors have been designated tonight as very special people. They are playing their last game. Let's go down to the field now for the start of tonight's game between the University of Hawaii and the number three team in the nation, Nebraska. Hawaii huddling across the field, Nebraska right down below us. And this should be uh, one of the great moments as far as the crowd and Aloha Stadium's history ever since the stadium opened up way back in 1975. Jim, I like Dick Tomey's comment to me. His final comment when I talked to him down the field before the game was this crowd probably will not see this team play any harder than they're going to play tonight. He's got his team ready and he knows that what, what will happen remains to be seen, but this, this team is ready to play. There have been some great shouting matches already tonight uh, between the Nebraska people and the University of Hawaii supporters. They started about 5.30 and they've been hurling some verbal insults at each other, good naturedly, I may add, and well, yeah. so that could go on all night long. Interesting. I had an opportunity to talk to some of the people down in the end zone from Nebraska City, and I said, where are your seats in Lincoln? They said, in Lincoln, we don't even get seats to these games. This is the first time we've seen the team play in person all year, and they had to come to Hawaii to do that. Bernard Quarles taking some warm-up throws behind the rainbow bench. The University of Nebraska has won the toss. They will receive, and Hawaii will kick off defending the north goal. Kicking off will be Lee Larson and the Hawaii fans who have waited for this matchup getting up on their feet, ready for the start of tonight's game. James Moore, the sprint man, doing his great splits, as he always does. Deep for Nebraska. Number 28, Jeff Smith, and Irving Fryer, number 27. Larson getting ready, and the crescendo building, and we are underway. Into the end zone, it goes to Smith. He will not return it. Nebraska will put the ball in play at the 20-yard line. A rather consistent move from Lee Lawson, putting the ball deep into the left-hand corner. That's a good way to start the game. First down for the Big Red, number three in the nation at the 20-yard line. And Bruce Matheson is the starting quarterback. Doug Wilkening and Mike Roger will be in the I formation. Fryer is the wingback. So Matheson, the second spring quarterback, so to speak, starting. In motion is Fryer. The pitch goes to Roger. He's hit immediately. Polonico Nunga. Interesting defensive set that time for Hawaii. Mark Tuine lined up at the nose guard. Polonico Nunga lined up in the linebacker position. We've not seen that. They put Tuine against Remington. So it is Tuine. Now they put Nunga back in front of Tuine. There you see the hit by Falonika Nunga on Rozier. Second down and 11 from the 19-yard line. Matheson to throw. Does. It is complete to Jamie Williams for the first down out to the 32-yard line. Carl Kennebrew and Vernon Gearing chased him down for the Rainbows. Nebraska comes right back with the first first down of the game and Carl Kennebrew is down for the rainbow at the 30 yard line he is hurt that would be a costly injury too he seems to be squirming around there in the field as if he is in a lot of pain and after the great game he had last week against the Air Force the Bulls could ill afford to lose him tonight the officials for tonight's game Joe Arnellis is the referee Sam Naho Opi the umpire Steve Robello the linesman Al Barros is the line judge Tony Tavares the field judge Earl Valdera the back judge Vernon Gearing also being helped out, along with Kennebrew. He looks okay, though, Jim. He came over to the sideline, just took a little short jog. He's walking along the sideline now. I think he'll be all right. That's a, that's a good sign. First and 10 for Nebraska at their own 33-yard line. Stryer comes out as a wide receiver to the bottom of your screen. High formation behind Matheson. Matheson gives it to Rozier. He's hit at the line of scrimmage. Excellent job by Hawaii's defensive front. They just moved around, came to the ball, got off the blocks, and just, just stonewalled it at the line of scrimmage. Carl Alexander leading the charge there, the linebacker for the Rainbow. And it will be second down. And eight yards to go. The ball at the 35. 
and Nebraska out of the huddle. Todd Brown, number 29, to the far side. Fryer, 27, to the near side. Ball is given on a sign to Roger. Big hole, 40, 45. Breaks a tackle, goes to midfield. Fred Hemphill there to make the stop for the Rainbows. Big hole, great blocking up front that time by Randy Tice and Mike Mandelko on the left side of the Nebraska line. Interesting defensive set again for Hawaii. They put Tuine again at the nose guard. They put Nonga, he's Israel's here, just breaking great blocking up front by Nebraska. Hemphill comes over, makes a shoestring tackle. The Bulls had gambled on a stunt to the other side, and Nebraska came back the opposite. First and 10 from their own 49-yard line. Ball is given up the middle. Hit is the fullback, Doug Wilkening, by Falanico Nonga. No gain on the play. If they give him forward progress, it will be only about a half yard. Boy, Doug Kay has orchestrated himself a nice defensive game package if they can maintain this. They're moving people around. I would say thus far I've done a real good job of being in the right place at the right time and confusing that offensive blocking scheme for Nebraska. Second down, nine and a half to go. The ball just short of midfield for the Big Red. Shane Swanson is flanked to the far side. Double wide receiver to the near side. Single setback. Back to pass. Matheson. Throws. It is complete to number 29, Todd Brown. Brown to the Rainbow 44. Just a little delay pattern over the inside from Brown, the split end. Just kind of waits a count and then comes back in there. Matheson, this is, Matheson just looks for him. Coming there, his hot receiver. Just picks him up nicely. Darrell Williams making the stop for the Rainbow. Third down and three. Ball just outside the Rainbow 43. Matheson to Rozier to the 40 to the 38 yard line again good blocking off that left side by Nebraska Darrell Williams coming up to make the stop that is enough for a Cornhusker first down good block by Jamie Williams tight end very physical out there Rozier comes into this game 1578 yards on 228 carries a 6.9 average every time he carries the ball almost seven yards and his longest run from scrimmage this year has been 62 yards and Nebraska moving now to the Rainbow 39, first and 10. Rozier to the 35, tipped up at the line of scrimmage. He fumbled the ball, and let's see. After the whistle, and a Rainbow player is down. Emlyn Ha'uano. Emlyn Ka'uano actually tripped up Rozier, and Rozier then... Uh, Falling forward, gained some extra yardage, and now Emlin is down. There you see the loose ball, and he was down after, as the replay shows, he was down after he was, or after he fumbled the ball. So right now here, the crowd a little bit hushed with 11-18 left to play in the first quarter. What you see there. And Emblen is helped up, and he will leave under his own power. What you see, Jim, as I started to say, it's just the great strength of Nebraska. Hawaii's doing a good job of trying to offset that power, but boy, they've just got such great physical strength up front. Hot Brown is flanked to the far side. Wingback is fired. Matheson, the Nebraska quarterback. Second down from the Rainbow 35. Inside handoff to Fryer. He gets to the 34. That's all. Good job that time by Carl Alexander. And I got to tell you, away from the football that time, I watched Nonga play against Remington, and he actually stood Remington up and shoved them back two yards. Great explosion as that time Nonga lined head up on the, on the center. Just a fine job. Third down now for Nebraska at the Rainbow 34. Nebraska has been steadily driving. They took the opening kickoff and put it in play at their own 20. Crowd senses it is a big third down play for the Big Red. Same formation behind Matheson. In motion now goes Fryer. Matheson back to pass, rolling. Still looking. He's hit. He's down at the 40-yard line. Steve Lehor. Mark Tuine. John Taylor. And Kessiafalover also. They all got over there. That's great pursuit. It's stringing out the defense. And they were there in a lot of green jerseys at one time. We'll take a look at replay. You see Nonga doing a good job stepping up inside. Alexander coming over now. The defensive pursuit, Lehor. 
Matheson looking downfield, nowhere. Now Tourine makes a great play, and the rest of his team follows up with Lehua coming in there. Great job by Mark Tourine. Grant Campbell back to punt, 39.6 yard average. He's punted only 32 times all year. Deep is Vernon Gearing. There's the punt. It is a sky punt. It is very short. It goes out of bounds, and we'll see where they line it up. The Rainbows will have it at their own 38-yard line. From the line of scrimmage, it was only a one-yard punt. Or will they? Let's see where they put it. They're going to put it on the 28, not the 38. Still a very short punt. One of the officials lined up at the 38-yard line, and he was overruled. <laughs> it looked that way as if it was only going to be a two-yard punt, but it turned out to be a 12-yard punt. 12-yard punt, first down for the Rainbows, just short of the... 29-yard line. Joe Nobles to the near side. Walter Murray to the far side. Single setback is Reggie Young. Bernard Quarles is the quarterback, number four. In motion, Walter Murray. Quarles to throw. Three-man pattern. Has all day. Screens it to Reggie Young. The 25, 30, 35, 40. First down. A great, great block by Jesse Sapolo. And a great offensive call to open up the game with a deep screen. Great protection. They run the screen, but the offensive line is doing a great job of holding up the defense. They weren't really pressuring Quarles. He dumps it off to Young. Now he gets a great block back there by Sapolo, and he just works his way upfield. Great call for the opening play of the game by Hawaii's offense. First down for Hawaii on their own 41-yard line. Split back. Edgar and Young. Quarles to throw again. Looking, throws over the middle, complete. Ray Butler on the 40-yard line of Nebraska. Another Hawaii first down. See, Quarles comes straight back down to drop back. Butler going downfield, running a crossing pattern. He's going to come right in the middle, split the zone. Bam, Quarles hits a perfect play, takes it down to the 40. And you've got to admire Butler's ability to get open and Quarles' ability to throw it in the crowd. 8.55, left to play first quarter. It is now the Rainbow, the team on the move. Single setback, four wide receivers. Up the middle to Young. Head flex his way to the 36-yard line. Gain of four. Second down and six. Bill Weber, the defensive end, 6'2", 210 out of Lincoln, Nebraska, there to make the stop for the Huskers. What's most impressive thus far, too, again, Hawaii's offensive line off to a good start tonight. They're doing a good job up front. They've given Qualls the protection he's needed on the two previous passing plays. And that time, picking up a gain of four on a running play is a healthy sign for Hawaii's offensive line. Dwayne Coleman and Joe Nobles are flying to the far side. Walter Murray to the near side. Single setback is Edgar. Back to pass four. Oh, he has all day. Pro, complete. Coleman, 23-yard line. First down, Rainbow. Again, the entire offensive line, Jim, giving Qualls all the time he needs. You see him drop back, there is absolutely nobody in a red and white shirt. Now a player comes into it, but all the time he needs, and he finds his receiver downfield again in the crowd. Dwayne Coleman, nice reception, moves after the ball. That's a great job all the way around by Hawaii's offense. First down, Rainbow's on the 23-yard line of Nebraska. Kofensi is flanked to the far side. Murray to the near side. Quarles looking. Throws deep for Murray. Overthrows him. Second down and 10 from the 23. Great move by Murray to get open. He just came downfield and just juked to the inside and broke it to the outside. He was wide open. Oh, what a crowd tonight. What a crowd here at Aloha Stadium. 7.41 left. First quarter. Ray Butler, the senior, flanked to the left. Wing back to the left is Edgar. Two wide receivers line up to the right. Quarles, delay to Young. No go. He is hit at the 23, the line of scrimmage. Bob Stuckey, the defensive tackle, really stuck him. 6'3", 250 pounds out of Lexington, Nebraska. Third down and 10 from the 23. Okay, you can see Young taking the ball, but good pursuit by the defense that time. Several players getting over there. They just came off their blocks nice. Rainbows have called timeout. 7-18 left to play in the first quarter. We look at the scoreboard. Hawaii nothing, Nebraska nothing. Third and 10 for the Rainbows. Rolling to the near side is Quarles. 
Look, throw, complete to Noble. The 10, the 5, out of bounds. First and goal to go. Hawaii. Great third down call here. You can see the offensive line giving Qualls the time he needs. He comes out. He's looking for Nobles all the way. Nobles from the flanking position comes downfield, runs an out pattern. Qualls hits him perfectly. His ability to get open is what's amazing, Jim. Joe Nobles wide open down deep in the flat. First and goal to go for the Rainbows at the Nebraska five-yard line. Nobles to the left, Murray to the right. Qualls keeps it. Rolls. Has room. Touchdown. here Qualls just comes back he's got the great eyesight now he looks he sees he's just gonna go for the corner nobody's gonna catch him he dives in there great effort offensive line just kept the defense away from him great play Bernard Qualls Rambos go 62 yards in that drive and it was incredible the way the Rainbows were able to move against it the number three team in the nation so the Rainbows break out on top six to nothing they are the decided underdogs and they are leading Lee Larson kicks it is good. We look at the scoreboard, 705. Left to play in the first quarter. Hawaii 7, Nebraska nothing. Rainbows will kick off, leading 7 to nothing. Lee Larson. Jeff Smith backs up into the end zone. He will not return it. And the Huskers will put the ball in play on the 20 yard line. Now, Rick, we've seen this before. The Rainbows broke out on top of New Mexico. They broke out on top of Brigham Young, only to fall behind. So, as far as this game is concerned, even though we're in the first quarter, very important point. Very important point. Maintain the composure, be able to bend with the defense as they did, but be able to hold Nebraska. What they cannot afford, Jim, is the big play on offense from Nebraska. Brown and Fryer are the wide receivers. First down. Quarterback remains Matheson. Roger, big hole. The 30. The 40. The 50. They ride him down at the Rainbow 47-yard line. And it didn't take long for Nebraska to reassert themselves offensively. Kent Capensis and Steve Lehor made the stop, but they had to do it from behind. Just a great job of uh, that time Nebraska coming off the ball. You see the great acceleration of Rose getting up to the line of scrimmage. He picks up 33 yards, and he makes it look easy. First down for Nebraska. Wide receiver to the far side is Brown. Ball is given to Wilkinson up the middle. Wilkinson to the 45-yard line. And Mark Cuine there to make the stop for the Rainbows. Pipped him up. In on the play of close to two yards. It will be second down and eight for the Cornhuskers from the Rainbow 45-yard line. That's really an interesting defensive alignment where they take Cuine and line him up on the nose and have Nanga stacked behind him. That's a, a tough place to try to run against. You're going to see it again right here. Ricky Simmons is split to the far side now for Nebraska. Second down, Nebraska jumps offside. Jumping offside for Nebraska is Randy Tice, a senior offensive tackle, 6'3", 256-pounder, out of St. Louis, Missouri. You see a little adjustment. You can't see Hawaii's defense, but Hawaii moved, and it caused Tice to jump offside. Just a, just a slight adjustment they were making, and uh, surprising Hawaii was able to affect their offensive line for Nebraska that way. So... Dead ball foul. Dead ball foul. Illegal procedure on the offense. Still second down. Second down now and 12 yards to go from midfield. Wide receivers to the right. Again, the I formation. Rozier with the ball. Big hole. 45, 41 yard line. They're going to give him forward progress to just inside the 43. Well, it gets tripped up by Williams, and Nonga actually makes the final tackle. And the reason why is they got to hand Dave Remington some credit here. You see Rozier coming right up inside. Nonga actually got blocked back that far. Remington just put a great block on him. He took him out five yards. Nonga was able to come downfield. So new running backs now come in. Roger Craig has come in for Rozier. And split backs now for Nebraska. Third down and five. Matheson to throw. Does complete. It's the flyer inside the 30. And he is butted forward inside the 25. That is enough for a first down. Carl Alexander hit him, but he hit him forward. 
Just learned with Fryer from the outside position coming across the middle on that crossing pattern, and they hit him. We'll take a look at it. Math Matheson comes back, just looks. He's looking one way all the way, waiting for Fryer to get open. Now Fryer does, and he just hits him, splitting the zone of the defense. It's a good job by a Nebraska. Todd Brown is flanked to the far side. Matheson remains at quarterback for Nebraska. Matheson gives it to Wilkening. He powers inside the 20 to the 15-yard line. You think, uh, Rick, at this point, the Big Reds' pride has been hurt giving up the first score of the game. They want to come back in a hurry. Well, I think that's gotten them fired up. They've done a good job in recent weeks of uh, establishing their scores first before the other teams have come on and scored. I think they're a little bit surprised by that. And uh, there's no question they're a lot more fired up in this series than they were in the last. A bunch of fans here in abundance tonight, some with funny headgear. Second down from the 21, second and three for the Big Red. Ball is given to Craig. Hit at the line of scrimmage, but he keeps his legs going and gets to the 10-yard line. Line of scrimmage was not the 21, was the 16. I stand corrected. And he got all the way down to the 10. Looks like Emwin Kaohano had a got a hook on him to bring him down. Nebraska seems to be favoring their left side or the right defensive side for Hawaii. That's why that time that was more up the middle, but they've been working on Hawaii's right, right defensive side of the line. That's enough for a Nebraska first down. And the big red now knocking on the door at the Hawaii 11-yard line. First and 10 from the 11. Rozier. Nope. Craig. Trying to get outside. He's picked up by Anthony Woodson at the line of scrimmage. And he gets just that far. It will be second down and 10 yards to go from the 11 yard line. Take it. Hawaii over, over shifts to that side that time, trying to strengthen the right side. Good pursuit. And you'll see Woodson come off the ball. He trips him up nicely. And he had Lee in pursuit along with Alexander. Good job by Hawaii's defense to the right that time. Second down, 10 yards to go from the 11-yard line. Mitch Crank and giant Jamie Williams are the wide receivers. Back to pass Matheson. Wide open is the tight end, Williams. He has it at the two-yard line. Darrell Williams there to make the stop for the rainbow. Interesting that the cornerback would be man-on-man -man down there deep on the tight end. We'll have to see how it lines up. Matheson comes back. You see Jamie He's just coming across. Williams coming from behind as he makes a tackle on Jamie Williams, but uh, he was just wide open. The cornerback, there should have been a safety in there, you would think, to pick up the tight end. Third down and one for the first down. Third and two for the touchdown. Seven-nothing Rainbow. 2.51 left first quarter. Ball is given up the middle to Wilkening, and he fumbles the ball. Let's see. Rainbows are saying they have it, but the officials are saying it could be after the whistle. That is the second time that has happened tonight. In the first instance, there was no question it was after the whistle, and that is the case here. The John that Taylor. is not enough for the first down. A great job up in the middle by the Rainbow defense. It is fourth down, and now Nebraska must decide whether to go, and they will go. They will not go for the three. It has become a matter of pride now for the number three team in the nation. Todd Brown is split to the left. Craig, hit at the line of scrimmage. Did he get the first down? Follow Miko Nunga. The question now is whether he got the first down. He did not say no. Well, that was pretty. That was pretty. There's a Hawaii player down. He's on one knee. He may be up. I think it's Darrell Williams. But that was pretty. It's exactly what you would want from your defense. I think more than anything, Jim, was the ability for them to not only keep them out of the end zone, but to prevent them from getting the first down was, as you said, Nebraska became a matter of pride, opted to go for it rather than kick the field goal. Hawaii responded, as we said at the beginning of this drive, perfectly. Coach Tony said, before this game started, you will not see a team play with more determination, more, more pride, play as hard as the Rainbows will tonight. And so that, far, he has been absolutely right. That's right. A little bend, don't break by the defense, but what that really shows you, Jim, and what it gives the Hawaii players is it shows that Hawaii is not intimidated by Nebraska, and what they're going to gain right here is confidence. They just cannot give up the big plays. He's okay as he walks off. You can see him. And Darrell Williams, Williams, okay, as they lead him back to the rainbow bench. Now the rainbows have the ball deep in their own territory, at their own two-yard line. High formation. The fullback is Young. The tailback is Edgar. Quarles gives the ball. No, keeps it. Gets up the middle, dives to the five-yard line. Went right up the hole, cleared for him by Reggie Young. 
Gain of three, second and seven for the Rainbows. 145 left to play in the first quarter. It is Hawaii seven, Nebraska nothing. Somewhat of a broken play, but Quarles doing a nice job of that. Look, you can see he had a little bit of a hole there, but he got tripped up as he tried to stumble through. But nonetheless, he picked up three yards. Second down for the Rainbows from their own five. The Prentice is split to the near side along with Ray Butler. Quarles to throw out of his own end zone. In trouble, gets it back to the line of scrimmage and gains two yards. Jeff Merrill, the nose guard, rides him to the turf. And that's a little bit different for Hawaii's offense. Oftentimes, down deep in their own territory this year, we've seen them simply play for the punt. Adam Rita believes in that, the offensive coordinator. That time, they were looking to throw. Quarles comes back. Nebraska's done a good job of locking in. Quarles now starts to run. Merrill comes off the block for Nebraska. Real good, real good job by Merrill as he makes the tackle. Had he not, Quarles may have picked up the first down. Coleman and Nobles are playing to the near side. It is third down, six yards to go for the Rainbow. Bottles given up the middle to Reggie Young. He's able to wedge his way out to the 10. It will be fourth down, two to go for the Rainbows, and they will punt it away. Frank Natividad will come in. He is the senior punter. He has punted 56 times, 36.5 yard average. His longest effort of the year, 57 yards. Twin safeties for Nebraska. Smith and Fryer. They are back, standing at their own 47. Kicking out of the end zone is Natividad. Good distance. Waiting for it is Fryer. Calls for a fair catch and takes it on the Rainbow 49-yard line. It will be first down for the Big Red at the Rainbow 49. And the Rainbows, with eight seconds remaining to be played in the first quarter, lead 7 to nothing. a 40-yard punt by Frank Natividad. And a nice job getting a fair catch, and the Bulls get out deep and give the ball back up at midfield. Considering their field position, that is not all that bad. Here comes Nebraska. Apperson remains in at quarterback. Irving Fryer to the near side. Ball is given to Rozier. He hit at the 48. Steve Lehorn, the middle linebacker of the Rainbows there. Nice job of Lehor again. That time, Nebraska trying to go again to their left or versus Hawaii's right. Hawaii had overshifted, did a good job. He then tried to cut it back up inside. Lehor playing good backside. Stuffed him at the line of scrimmage, or basically for a two-yard game. But good job by Hawaii's defense. The first quarter has come to an end with the score. Hawaii 7, Nebraska nothing. Let's pause for these messages. 7 nothing Hawaii. We begin the second quarter. Rozier to the 45 to the 40. Stumbles forward all the way to the Rainbow 31-yard line. That is enough for a first down, and Nebraska begins to apply the pressure yet another time. Fred Hemphill there for the Bulls defensively. You see Rozier take it back deep. He's looking to come run here. He gets the block off, comes inside in Woodson. Now you see a great balance because Hemphill trips him up, and great balance by Rozier. He picks up another eight yards just because of his athletic mm -hmm. ability. Simmons is flanked to the far side. And Swanson is the wingback. Ball is kept by Matheson. Turns the corner at the 30. Inside the 25. And high steps out of bounds at the 22-yard line of the Rainbows. Good gain on the play. Well, one thing that impresses you about the Nebraska backs, Jim, is that none of them go down easily. If you just trip them up, they don't go down. You've got to tackle these guys, all of them, including the quarterback. Injury report on Darrell Williams. He injured his shoulder, but he will return as you take a look at Matheson, able to turn the corner around the near side and keeping his balance, go for very effective yardage. Second down and one. Ball on the rainbow 22. Nebraska trails seven to nothing. Matheson to throw. The ball is knocked away and recovered by Anthony Woodson at the 34-yard line. What a play by Woodson. This is an absolutely incredible heads-up football play by Anthony Woodson. He will come on the blitz from the left side, from the left side. Matheson has his arm up, left pop. Woodson just steals the ball away from Matheson and has sense enough to recover the fumble. A great play and a great defensive call. Anthony Woodson, a junior, playing outstanding here in the, in the first half of this football game. Rainbow defense comes up with yet another gem. They turn it around, and the Rainbows will have the ball first down. And 10 yards to go on their own 34-yard line. Bernard Coral remains a quarterback. The defensive calls thus far are doing a good job of confusing the blocking of Nebraska. Great calls by Doug Kay. 14-41 left to play in the first half. 
The Rainbows have new running backs in the game now. George Fletcher, the sophomore tailback out of Sunnyvale, California, and Mike Scott, the junior running back. Uh, you see Bernard Forles coming into this game, 1,181 yards, seven touchdowns, 57% completion average, and we have a penalty on the play against the Rainbows. Here's Joe Ornella. Mm. Offense, first down. Delay of game against the Rainbows. Instead of first and 10 at the 34, it is first and 15 at the 29. Quarles is four for five thus far tonight, Jim, for 63 yards. Walter Murray is flanked to the far side. Rainbows going from south to north here in quarter number two. In motion back for the middle is Murray. Murray gets the pitch, trying to turn the corner. Goes out of bounds across the line of scrimmage. Tony Felici there to make the stop for Nebraska. 6'2", 205 pound defensive end. Well, Felici played that perfectly on the back side. You'll see here, the coming, the ball start giving a misdirection as they do on a reverse play. Murray takes the pitch from Quarles deep. He's coming, but Felici, who you can't see in the screen right now, is doing a great job of stringing it out. Comes off his block right there. Just a perfect play. Good job by Tony Felici. 7-0 Rainbows. Second down and about 14 and a half from their 29 and a half. Single setback for the Rainbows on this play. In motion again, Murray. Quarles back to throw. Oh, does he have the time? Screen pass. It is complete to Fletcher. The 30. In trouble. Down he goes at the 31. Gain of only two. Great pursuit by Nebraska. Brent Evans, the linebacker, a 225-pounder out of Chesterfield, Missouri, to make the stop for the Big Red. You have to be impressed by Hawaii's ability to give Bernard Quarles the time. Look at him just standing back there, sets up the screen, gets it over there to Fletcher. Fletcher's trying to add up his way upfield. Nebraska doing a good job of pursuit. But so many times, Jim, on that screen play, you will see the quarterback suck the defense in because they're rushing. But tonight, Hawaii's offensive line keeping them at bay. Coleman and Nobles are the wide receivers. Quarles to throw again. Again, has all day. Throws over the middle. Complete. Coleman, midfield. First down, Rainbow. Hawaii's receivers doing a great job of catching the ball in the crowd. This time, Quarles comes back, as you said, he gets all day great protection by the offensive line. Looks downfield, Coleman runs a uh, post pattern, catches it in the middle of the field, just wide open. Quarles splits the, splits the secondary, just a great pass play all the way around. First down for the Rainbows at midfield. They come up with another offensive play that gets them out of trouble. High formation behind Quarles. In motion is Mike Akeel. Pitch goes to Anthony Edgar. Turns the corner. The 45-yard line. The 44-yard line. And that's that sweep back to the weak side. We saw Edgar run so well last week against the Air Force Academy. And that's a big game when you can pick up five yards on first down on a running play. We've been informed that Turner Gill, who is the number one quarterback for the Big Red, has a sore back. It is unknown whether he'll play. We saw USC do that, too, when they played here. They did not use Paul McDonald, their first-string quarterback, all night long. That's correct. Second down, four yards to go for the Rainbows at the Nebraska 44. Pitch to the near side to Edgar. Edgar to the 41. Two yards short of the first down. It will be third down, short yardage for the Rainbows. Steve Damkroger there to make the stop for Nebraska. He leads the team in tackles for the Big Red. 73 coming into this game, and one of the Re Nebraska Tony, players is now done. Tony Felici is down with an injury, and that would be a, a costly injury for Nebraska because he's a fine player, as we talked about a little while ago on the, as a defensive end, stringing Murray out on that uh, reverse play. He looks like he's going to be okay. He's, I don't know. He's getting up rather, rather game here. Tony Felici coming off the field now for Nebraska. He's out of Omaha. There you see the handsome young man, Tony Felici. Nice Italian kid in Nebraska trying to make it. Tom Osborne and his, and his offensive line giving instructions to him on the sideline. Wide receivers left and right, single setback. Third down, about a yard and a half for the Rainbows. Big play. Crowd quiet. Quarles looking for the quick pattern. Throw. Complete. Murray, the 30. First down, Rainbow. You know what's such a great job about that? Mark Gardner, Jim Mills, great luck in the front, but the Bulls, Jim, not just trying to pick up the first down that time with 32, they're getting downfield. That pass play with Murray running down and breaking in an out pattern. We'll see it here. Ball is coming back, getting great blocking up front again. 
Murray downfield about seven yards, runs the out pattern, all open, it's right there. You can see the cornerback playing way off of Murray in that zone defense. Hawaii leads seven to nothing, 11.30 to go in the left to play in the first half. And the rainbow's moving again. First and 10 from the Nebraska 30-yard line. Quarrel. Hits pattern. Murray cannot hold on. The ball thrown high. That may be behind the line of scrimmage. Now they say no, it was an incomplete pass. I'll tell you what, that's unfortunate for Hawaii because he was wide open down there. That was a really fine offensive call. They ran that, like a single screen out there. He came up there in the hitch. See a Quarles come back. Murray just coming off of him being in motion. He's going to throw the ball. He's got a lead block of Nobles out there in front of him with nothing but sideline. Too bad the ball was thrown high because Murray might have picked up a bunch of yards. Tom Osborne in his tenth year at Nebraska made some interesting comments earlier this week about Hawaii. He said Hawaii has some of the best men in the skilled position that Nebraska will be all year long. And he ranks the Rainbows right behind Penn State and Oklahoma. Second down and 10 from the 30. Defense is in motion. Pitch back to Rafael Cherry. Cherry, who is usually a quarterback, is able to turn the corner and move to the 23-yard line. He is short of the first down. The Rainbows wanted to throw on the pitch back to Rafael Cherry, who they had stealthily inserted into the offensive backfield. Well, that was a real good job. It looked like he was going for Dwayne Coleman downfield. We see it here. Cherry takes the ball. He's not sure if he wants to run. He's looking for Coleman to get open. Coleman can't get open. Cherry now decides to run, and he'll pick up a bunch. He'll pick up about seven yards. It was a good decision by Cherry not just to throw the ball away. Third down and four from the 23-yard line of Nebraska. Big play for the Rainbow single setback. Quarles with a long count. Looking, looking, throw. Murray. Incomplete. Oh, he was open. That time the Bows flooded the pattern. They had, they had Murray down there along with another receiver. I think it was Nobles. Two of them just flooded that zone. Murray was open, but again, Ball not on, ball not that badly thrown. Lee Larson has come on to try a 40-yard field goal, angle from the right. Larson is three for six in field goals over 40 yards. Frank Natividad will hold. Larson waiting. It is back. There's the kick. It has the distance. It is good. Left the play in the first half. It's a surprise, a delightful one for Hawaii fans. The Rainbows lead Nebraska 10 to nothing. Onside kick. Ball is punched forward. The Rainbows may have it. They do at the 45 yard line. Marty Sims. Marty Sims came up with it. A surprise onside kick. And the Rainbows are taking the romance of this game right away from Nebraska. I don't think anybody expected an onside kick, especially the Nebraska team. They're waiting for a deep, just a great play. And I tell you, somebody came in there, someone comes in and kicks the ball out away from a Nebraska player with his helmet as they die for the ball. And Hawaii just right on top of it. That was a great call, Jim. A surprise onside kick by Lee Larson. The Rainbows punched it forward. And Marty Sims was able to fall on it. The Rainbows have the ball just inside the Nebraska 35-yard line. They may go for the end zone here on this first play. We'll see. Quarles drops back. Here comes the blitz. Quarles throws over the middle. It's hit high into the air. Incomplete at the 35-yard line. Second down and 10. Uh, he's trying to hit Murray on a crossing pattern. Murray was open, but again, the ball was tipped. Murray doing a nice job of running inside. I've noticed that, Rick. Tonight, the rainbow receivers have been open. Take a look at Quarles now. He's looking. Walter Murray has come from the left now, and he's running a crossing pattern. The ball gets tipped, but if you look downfield, Murray... Murray had his man beat, and if he'd led him perfectly, Murray could have picked it up and made it down the sideline. Second down and 10 from the 35-yard line. Murray is flanked to the far side. Double wing, single setback behind Quarles. In motion is Joe Noble. Quarles looking. Hits pattern to Murray. Blockers out in front of him. He dropped the ball. Well, it's going to become a psych job now for Murray because he's having a hard time. He's dropped a couple that he should have had. That time definitely should have had that interesting offensive call, too. Started running before he made the catch, and he had blockers in front of him. He had three of them. That was a, they've thrown two different variations of the screen pass to Murray as a wide receiver, and I like that. The ability for Hawaii to get the ball to their best receivers, Walter, or best athletes, 
Murray being one of them, they've designed plays. We've not seen that play all year around their ability to do that for them. Third down and 10 from the Nebraska 35-yard line. Wide receivers are flanked to the right. Split back. In motion back toward the middle comes Noble. Quarles rolling. Looking. He may run. No, he throws. Out in front is Coleman. Cannot hold on. Cannot hold on. It's a close situation, but you've got to admire the balls. On third and ten, Quarles comes back. Again, getting excellent protection from the offensive line. Steps up, decides to go deep. You see the ball, Coleman trying to run underneath it. He beats the two defenders right on his fingertips. It should have been six. Dwayne Coleman's going to kick himself on that one. Tough break for Hawaii. Great effort all the way around by Hawaii's offense. And then there's Lee Larson. One for one in tonight's game. He puts the ball down at the 42-yard line. A 52-yarder, his longest of the season, 51. Is he pumped them up? There's the kick. It struggles. It struggles. It is off to the right. It is short. It is no good. And Nebraska will put the ball in play at their own 35. But this crowd is giving the Rainbows a well-deserved hand for the effort. Oh, it's a game effort, too, Jim. It's a real good game effort. I like it all the way across the board. Not only are they leading, they're just simply outplaying them. Here comes Nebraska. They trail in this game 10 to nothing. The quarterback is Matheson. Wilkening and Rozier in the eye formation. Rainbow's jumping around defensively. Ball is given up the middle to Wilkening. Wilkening was stopped at the line of scrimmage, then wiggled free. He was able to get up over the 40 all the way to the 44-yard line. Good ad-libbing by Wilkening of Nebraska. Here you see right here, it's a trap-off tackle to the fullback. He's just going to follow his guard up inside. Comes up there, just a good job. Boy, Wilkening, very quick throw back to the hole. Darrell Williams made the stop for the Rainbows. Gain of nine, second and one for Nebraska. Todd Brown is flanked to the far side, covered by Vernon Geary. Now, slight delay. Officials getting set. Joe Ellis comes in. And now we're ready to go as he starts the clock. 10-24 left to play in the first half. Rainbow's 10, Nebraska nothing. Second and one. Ball is pitched to Rozier. In trouble. He's hit by Kone and then swallowed up. He may have lost a little bit on that play, too. Again. Short of the first down. It will be third down and less than a yard. But again, the rainbow defense really rising up. Nanga comes off the double team real nice. Tune coming over. You see Lehua filling. Just a real good job. You see Nico down there on the ground, but he did a good job of stuffing the hole at the line of scrimmage coming off the double team by Remington. Mark Tuine, nice job. Third down, less than a yard. Ball on the just short of the 45-yard line of Nebraska. Fumble. Picked up by Rozier in the backfield. Lunges forward. He has the first down. Great thinking by Rozier. He took a chance. Well, I'll tell you, I was surprised to see the bad exchange. You see it coming here. Matheson never has the ball. He looks down. It scoots around down there. Good job of that living by Rozier. He comes up and is able to make up. They say no. He does not have the first down. They did not give him the forward progress that we thought that he deserved on that play. I think and Nebraska. So it'll be, it will be fourth down in less than a yard. And I think Nebraska will go for it most definitely. He has again become a matter of pride. And John Taylor is now being helped off the field. So it is fourth down, less than a yard to go for Nebraska. As you take a look at John Taylor jogging off under his own power. You've got to believe that Nebraska's thinking here, obviously with Remington at center, is that if they can't make six inches with the twice winner of the Outland Award, they've got a problem. We'll see the play right here. Nunga and Remington, eyeball to eyeball. Fourth down, quarterback sneak. And Matheson is able to wedge behind Remington and get the necessary yardage for the first down. Game effort by Hawaii's defense, though. Taking it to the fourth down situation like that, you've got to admire that. Uh, second, here you see Remington with a good block coming off. A lot of people in there, I'll tell you, not only being blocked by Remington, they're coming over with number 71 over there, Steinkuller. And he's no small puppy, he's 6'4", 257. First down and 10 for Nebraska. Todd Brown is flying to the far side. Wing back is Pryor. Wilkening and Rozier in the I formation. Back to pass. Chased out of the pocket to the near side. Throws. Incomplete. 
Good coverage by the Bulls. Good pressure by the Bulls that time. Great pressure by Fala Nico Nunga. That time he beat Remington right up inside. Came off the block and beat him. And actually put the pressure coming right up the middle. A back try to block him. He got over that guy and put the pressure on. Good pressure. One man effort. 8-21. Left the play in the first half. 10-0. Hawaii over Nebraska. Out of the huddle comes the corn Husker. Wide receivers left and right. Matheson keeping. Hit and knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Carl Kennebrew. Great job by Kennebrew coming over. That time Nebraska's line really came off the ball well. You'll see it in here, but they just come firing out of there. But again, behind the block, but somehow Kenny Brew comes up and makes the play in the quarterback. Just a great effort by Kyle Kenny Brew. Third down and 10. The ball on the range on the Nebraska 47-yard line. Back to pass Matheson. Throw. Intercepted. Intercepted at the 43-yard line. And he had knee touch Fred Hemphill. Fred Hemphill's knee touch when he intercepted the ball. What a defensive effort tonight by the Rainbow. I have seen none better. I have seen none better all season long. Well, they put it together now just perfectly. He had great pressure up front by Tourine and Nonga and Kauhano. They were coming, but Hemphill, who when I was at practice on Wednesday was in a sling, makes a great play. Matheson coming back here. There's good pressure coming by Hawaii's defense up here. He gets the ball. Hemphill steps right in front of him. Unfortunately, his knee touches, but makes a heads-up play. Great effort by Fred Hemphill. First down for the Rainbows at their own 43-yard line. I formation behind Bernard Quarles. In motion is Joe Noble. Quarles gives the ball up the middle to Reggie Young. Has a hole. 45-50. 47-yard line of Nebraska. But wait a minute. A penalty flag on the plate. Good block that time by Jim Donovan, the offensive guard for the Rainbows. Well, I'd like to see what it And it will be against the Rainbows. What Hawaii needs here in a quick turnover situation is maintain some composure, keep the ball. The biggest thing they're doing when the ball is on Hawaii's offense is doing they're keeping it away from Nebraska. Probably not going to see the situation here, but Young coming up here, he actually gets a great block by Donovan right here. Just free and a good job. Procedure on the offense, fifth man on the line. There's a call, six men on the line. It is now first down and 15 for the Rainbows at their own 38-yard line. Wide receivers to the left. Ball was given up the middle to Reggie Young. Out over the 40 to the 42. Short gain on the play. It will be second down. And about 11 yards to go for the first down. We'll see where they give him forward progress. Scott Strasburger there to make the stop. He's out of Holdridge, Nebraska. Ball's going to take a timeout. The timeout has been called by the Rainbows with 7.06 left to play in the second quarter. And the Rainbow lead Nebraska 10 to nothing. Second down and 11 for the Rainbows. Quarles rolling, looking, throws. It is complete to Coleman at midfield. Short of the first down by three yards. It will be third down and three for the Rainbow. While we were away at that timeout, spontaneously this crowd beginning to chant, Let's go, Rainbow. As you take a look at the reception by Dwayne Coleman. Just a simple little hitch pattern up in the flat by Coleman. Quarles got him open. Nebraska's defense has given them a lot of res lot of room back there, and the Hawaii receivers are taking advantage of it. Coleman flanks to the right, Noble to the left. Third and three. Long count by Quarles. Back to pass. Rainbows pick up the blitz. Quarles throws. It is almost intercepted. Incomplete. Dave Burke was right there. The cornerback for Nebraska. It was intended for tight end Kent Unterman. Fourth down. And the Rainbows will punt it away. Well, they just had everybody there. He threw that ball in the crowd. It looked like he was going for Coleman as well down there. The Bulls sort of had that zone flooded, but they had all of Nebraska's defense there too. Just not a very good offensive play that time as far as the percentages. Jeff Smith and Irving Fryer are deep for Nebraska. Waiting for the snap from center is Frank Natividad. High snap, handles it nicely. There's the boot. Calling for the fair catch is Fryer. Catches it at the 15-yard line. First down for Nebraska. The Rainbows leading 10 to nothing. 6-13 left to play in the first half. And Rick, you look at the press clippings of this game, and you would uh, think that 
it wouldn't be like this. But remember what we mentioned in the beginning about the imponderables and the intangibles. Jim, that's, what be. that's what college football is all about. We've said it. I think coming on the heels of last week's unbelievably great win, what we're seeing is not unexpected. Todd Brown is flanked to the near side. Morvick and Craig now are the running backs. Craig with the handoff. Craig blocking. He is out in front. 40. He is hit and knocked down a touchdown saving tackle by Kent Defensive. A touchdown saving tackle by Kent Defensive. One on one at the 40 yard line. Well, you're watching here just real quick now. Craig getting up here. Look at that sweep off tackle. He's coming out. Just him in the open field. Nobody down here but Confenses. He tries to run over Confenses, it seems. Instead of breaking, he had room. Great open field tackle by Ken Confenses. Big gain on the play for Nebraska, and they are moving again. 25 yards. First down and 10 from their own 41. Matheson with the eye formation behind it. In motion is Fryer, the wing back. Ball is given to Craig, a reverse coming back to Fryer. Nunga has him at the 35-yard line. A loss of six yards on the play. That is the quickness of Hawaii's defense. Just a great situation. We're going to see it on replay. They try to go back on a little dipsy doodle play, reverse back. But Hawaii's defense did a great job of shutting the blocks, and they're all there. Look at them. Nice job by Nico Nogo Kaohano. Tuine standing over him, Alexander. Great job by Hawaii's defense at getting off of the blocks and getting to the football. And that's what they coach for defensive football. Great job. Second down and 16 from their own 35 yard line. Todd Brown is flanked to the far side. Great. And Morbid. They shift into the eye. Handoff goes to Craig, trying to turn the corner. Chipped up from behind by Taylor as he crosses the 35 out to the 38 yard line. Gain of only three yards on the play. And you know, Rick, we say goodbye tonight to 21 seniors. We also say goodbye to defensive coordinator Doug Kay. So far, he has put together and just an outstanding game. Well, they got defensive players. You're right, Jim. And uh, they've got defensive players moving all over the place. And as I've said several times thus far, they are confusing the blocking assignments in Nebraska. Third down and 13 from their own 38-yard line. Back to pass, Matheson. Throws over the middle. Incomplete. He had to throw in a hurry. Good pressure by Woodson and Alba Satelli. It was intended. William, fourth down. And Nebraska will have to punt it away. Well, they've got to start getting a little frustrated here as we wind down the second half, a second quarter at 4.20 left. That was a great defensive series. You talk about responding. That was an excellent series after giving that opening 25-yard gain. The Bulls came right back and shut it down. Campbell will do the punting for Nebraska. Low snap from center. Just gets it away. Mike Akio almost blocked it. Skiering calls for the fair catch, takes it at the 20-yard line. First and 10 for the Rainbow. Rick, this crowd is in this game. They are in this game. Uh, the thing that's so great, Jim, is that they came to this game ready to play. We talked about that before the game. Even Dick Tomey mentioned it before that everybody seems so up. And now they're getting exactly what they could have ever hoped for. And that's what's making it so beautiful. The team is playing outstanding. 42-yard punt by Natividad, rather by uh, Campbell. And it will be first down for the Rainbows at their own 20-yard line. And one of the bows is down. We'll be back with more from Aloha Stadium in just a moment. Fellow Nico Nunga was the injured player. He is up, and he has trotted off the field under his own power. And this crowd, when they saw it was Nunga, a hush came over it. And then when he got up, they went right back to their rousing noise here at Aloha Stadium. First down for the Rainbows at their own 20-yard line. Eye formation behind Bernard Quarrel. In motion is Noble. Ball is given up the middle, carrying the ball is George Fletcher out to the 23-yard line. It will be second and seven, and the clock now has ticked away to 4 one Left the play in the first half, and another rainbow is down. It looks it's like Kenny Moore. Kenny Moore, it is. It is Kenny Moore. That's tough. That's right. Hawaii's offensive line looked as if they took a step back and then took a running start at uh, the Nebraska defensive front. Moore holding his, uh, looks like the right side of his eye. Might have gotten a finger jammed in there on a block. Bernard Quarles tonight in passing, eight out of 14 for 104 yards. It would have even been better being that uh, Walter having a tough time. Tough time, eight for 1,404 yards. Just a high drop, and I tell you, Walter Murray dropped two, Coleman had his hands on one. I mean, Bernard's been very close. You can't fault the receivers, but Bernard's been very close with that football tonight. 
Kirk Defensis brings in a play, and Kenny Moore out under his own power. He's okay. He's shaking up the back. He's all right. Tough kick, Kenny Moore. Second down and seven from their own 23. Bernard Quarles in motion is Defensis. Ball is given up the middle to Anthony Edgar. Edgar out over the 25 to the 27-yard line. Tim Holbrook, 5'10", 190. He is the rover back there, and they have inserted him now as one of the linebackers. He made the stop. He's out of Lexington, Nebraska. Yeah, he's one of that Nebraska plays that they usually play with their safety is a monster back. And he's their headhunter. He roams the field. Holbrook is another one. They're playing in there basically with two monster guys. Turner Gill has been taken to the locker room with a cramp in his back. It is unknown whether the number one quarterback of Nebraska will play tonight. Look at it from the end zone and a fumble by Quarles, but he gets it back. I like so those end zone shots, though. It will be fourth down, three yards to go, and the Rainbows will punt it away. Frank Natividad has come in. Take a look at the exchange here. Bernard never had his hands on the ball. Just a tough break for Hawaii on a third and three, Jim. They could have used the first down there. Natividad and to punt it away for the Rainbows. Some confusion now. Unterman trying to get off. He will. Smith and Fryer are back deep, standing inside the Nebraska 35. Natividad may throw. No, he's going to punt now. He started to run with the ball. Gets the punt away. Fryer calls for the fair catch, takes it at the 33-yard line. Boy, that was scary because it appeared that Natividad had the time, and then he started to run. And then you were thinking back to the Brigham Young game when he threw to Steve Lehor. Then all of a sudden, he punted that on the run. 40-yard punt. No return. On the run. But Frank's Luke. got a strong leg. Here it is again, Jim. We'll take a look at it. Takes the ball high. He's looking up. He's got the time. For some reason, he decides to look as if he's going to pass almost. Now he's looking. He gets the block. And boy, he just gets great leg. Nate Mason now has come in at quarterback for Nebraska. Ball is given on a sweep to Fryer. Fryer to the 35, to the 40, to the 50. And is finally hit by Gearing and Kennebrew at the Rainbow 47-yard line. So Nate Mason comes into the game at quarterback for Nebraska. Gives it on a sweep to Fryer, and Fryer gets outstanding yardage. Mason has not played that much this year. 10-0 in favor of Hawaii. 20-yard game. See Fryer down the sideline, they're lifting around a little bit. He got tackled pretty hard. First down for Nebraska at the Rainbow 47-yard line. Wide receivers left and right. Mason, back to throw. At the time, throws long up the near sideline, out in front. It is, is it complete? No, incomplete. Ricky Simmons could not hold on. They say he did not have possession. It was a good call. It was a good call. I thought Kent Kofensis was going to come up with an interception. He played that ball beautifully. He and Darrell Williams doing a nice job of combining over there. Cornerback covered him in, and Kofensis coming over from the safety position. We have a flag downfield, but I, tell you, I thought Kofensis had himself an interception. Nice job by Hawaii secondary. He was wide open up the near sideline on that pattern. You missed wide open. You, I don't think you saw Kofensis coming over. He had his hands right on the ball. You see that. We won't have a <laughs> that may be that may be against that may be against Nebraska. Here's Joe Arnella. Holding against Nebraska is what Joe said. And it will be now first down and 15 from their own 48. And the holding was called on Stein Cooler, the offensive guard. Wide receivers are flanked to the far side. Ball is given to Rozier. Rozier threads his way through the Hawaii defense, gets inside the 45-yard line, all the way down to the Hawaii 43. Good run by Rozier. You can see why he comes in with over 1,500 yards in rushing. There's a play now. They're just running. It looks like a trap to back. He's kind of coming. Now he breaks away from where the trap should have been. Luke runs to daylight and picks his way up inside. Rozier, good job. Looks like they're running a trap off the left side. He cut it back into the right. Todd is flanked out to the far side. Todd Brown. Mason on a pitch. Gives the ball to Rozier. Trip up at the line of scrimmage. Gets inside the 40-yard line to the 39. It is still short of the first down. They have to go to just short of the 37 for the first down. So it will be third down and two for Nebraska. Nebraska is taking a timeout here, Jim. 116 left to play in the first half. Hawaii leading 10 to nothing. Let's pause for a moment.
available now. Third down and two. The ball is given to Rozier. Has the first down. Inside the 35. Inside the 30. Breaks to the outside at the 20 and is down to the 16-yard line. But wait a minute. A penalty flag at the 40-yard line. And they threw it to you normally where you see holding, holding called. Williams made the tackle downfield. This play may come back. Holding against Nebraska. That's exactly right. You see that replay. Rozier just doing a great job. His offensive line blocking for him. He gets a hole. He's just going downfield. But it's going to be taken back. Great break for Hawaii with the holding call. 109 left to play in the first half. Hawaii 10, Nebraska nothing. And the holding penalty will move the ball back to the Hawaii 49-yard line. Here's Joe Anella. Holding offense was third down. Somewhere on the left side of the offensive line, Jim, is where they threw it. Somebody on the back side away from the play is the one who was called for holding. Some delay now. Now uh, they get it right and start the clock. 105, 104 left. Third down and 12 from the Rainbow 49. Nebraska in possession. Mason in trouble. Gets by Sapello. He has running room. The 45. The 40. Knocked out of bounds by Hemphill at the Rainbow 36. Great First block by Dean Steinkuller. Great. Great call, the right call. That time they came with Satelli. He's been such a sure-handed tackler all year. We'll see it. He comes back. Satelli just missing having the opportunity now. Nobody down here does a good job of bad living, and he comes up field, picks up the first down, and they're able to get him out of bounds. First down for Nebraska. 51 seconds left to play in the first half. Todd Brown is flanked to the far side. To the near side is Fryer. Passing formation with the eye behind the quarterback, Mason. Rainbow's jumping around defensively. Mason back to pass. Throw. Almost intercepted. Almost intercepted. By Carl Alexander. And if he could have held on. Oh, what that would have been. That's six points, James. You're watching. He comes back here. Mason coming back. The Satelli that came. Good call. Comes right back to get his confidence. Alexander, just perfect play. It was in the exact hook zone where he should have been. Had he gotten that gym, he was up the sidelines for six. Second down and 10 for Nebraska. The ball at the Rainbow 36-yard line. Todd Brown and Shane Swanson are flanked to the near side as the wide receiver. Mason, the quarterback, gives it on a delay. Rozier, big hole, the 30, 25. Hit and down at the 23-yard line of the Rainbows. That is enough for a first down. 38 seconds left to play in the first half. Doug Wilkening with a good block for Nebraska on that flight. Rich Miano made the stop for the Rainbows. As you look at it one more time. Rozier, just a hard run. It comes up real quick. You can see Nebraska's offensive line did a great job that time. Blocking everybody. Rozier getting downfield. It's a good job all the way around for Nebraska. Hawaii would like very much to keep them off the scoreboard here, Jim. Timeout has been called by Nebraska. We look at the scoreboard. 38 seconds left to play in the first half. Hawaii 10. Nebraska nothing. 38 seconds left. And the crowd exhorting the rainbow defense. What a first half day of play. But Nebraska has the ball in the rainbow 23. Todd Brown is flanked to the far side. And Irving Fryer to the near side. Wing back is Wilkening. Rather the fullback is, is uh, Wilkening. Back to pass, Mason. Throw. It is complete. Inside the 15-yard line on the rainbow 12. An out pattern to Todd Brown. The split in. That is his 21st reception of the year. Vernon Gearing there covering for the Rainbows. But now, Nebraska knocking on the door. 33 seconds left. Just like you said, Jim Brown just running the out pattern, able to get open. And Gearing right there, but he picks up a big first down. First down and 10 yards to go for Nebraska, just outside the Rainbow 11. Now, the both defense has been in this situation before, and they have come up with outstanding effort. Brown is flanked to the near side. Mason, the quarterback, under center. First and 10 for Nebraska, just outside the Rainbow 11. Mason looking, being chased, gets a block. Pitches back, Rozier with the ball, wigwags to the 10 and gets to the 9. 24, 23, 23 seconds, that's all it'll take away. Timeout has been called by Nebraska. 23 seconds left to play in the first half. And the Rainbows lead Nebraska 10 to nothing. Let's pause for these messages. 10 nothing in favor of the Rainbow's second down. The ball at the Rainbow 9. Mason, the Nebraska quarterback, with a long count. 
Mason Rowley looking, being chased, being thrown down. Rich Miano outside the 10, back at the 11-yard line. Another great effort by the Rainbow. 12, 11, 10 seconds left. Nebraska trying to line up, trying to run one more play. Five seconds, four seconds. Mason throws. It is incomplete. That stops the clock with one second left. What a, what an effort by the Rainbow defense. Anthony Woodson with great coverage again by the well, Rainbow. Anthony Woodson right in his face at the point he goes to throw the ball. Which it just came out of nowhere, just shot up in there, got it right in Mason's face and forced the pass. That's going to cause Nebraska to try the field goal from what, what is it going to be, 28 yards out, Jim, on the hash. 29 yards out. They put it up the 19, 29-yarder. Straight on kicker, Kevin Seibel. He's three for three from this distance. It is back, it is down. He kicks. It is no good. It is off to the right. The Rainbows will go in at halftime, leading the number three team in the nation, Nebraska. Ten to nothing. Listen to this crowd. Rainbows have played an outstanding first half. They lead Nebraska, the number three team in the nation, ten to nothing. We said at the start of this game, Nebraska comes in with the reputation. They come in with these statistics. The Rainbows have built a reputation of their own for finishing strong. The last game of the of the season, they defeated South Carolina. They defeated uh, Arizona State. They lost to USC, but played hard. They lead Nebraska ten to nothing in this game. The defense has played just incredible football but so has the offense Hawaii very truthfully has outplayed Nebraska in the first half is that a surprise to you well it's a surprise because of the, the, the presence that Nebraska has okay Jim but I think that as we said already it's not unexpected having played the great game they did a week ago Dick himself saying nobody our team will play real hard tonight nobody's not going to be ashamed of what they're going to do I think that they're even getting out coached out there. I think the Hawaii's coaching staff has done a great job offensively and defensively. The players are executing, but I like what I'm seeing on offense and defense. They're moving the ball. They're getting the ball to the right athletes. They've done a great job on that. And on defense, they've just confused the blocking schemes of Nebraska. I think that, that is surprising. I think that Hawaii's ability to uh, just befuddle Nebraska, if you will, and then out-execute them on top of that. Yeah, that's a real compliment to Hawaii's football team and staff tonight. That, that has to be said. That's surprising. Immediately, people are going to say, immediately, no matter how this game turns out, the first half belongs to Hawaii. And people are going to say, well, maybe Nebraska, the Big 8 champion, they're looking forward to the Orange Bowl. It becomes a matter of pride, though, doesn't it? Oh, Jim, I'll tell you, it is a matter of pride. And ever since Hawaii got the opening score, I think they play, they've, they've come back and tried to respond. Hawaii is just playing super football. This crowd is really into it tonight, too. This is what you call Division One. There are people here. There are people here in, in dressed in red. But they're being, I think, outshouted by the people in green. Those guys are looking for green shirts right now, I'll tell you. <laughs> Great game here so far tonight. 10 nothing in favor of Hawaii. It has been an incredible first half. And everybody here at Aloha Stadium really enjoying this one. The Rainbows and the Huskers are back for 30 more minutes. And the Rainbows lead 10 to nothing before this crowd at Aloha Stadium tonight that no doubt will be the biggest crowd of the season for this finale rainbows against the huskers and the rainbows lead the big red 10 to nothing rick this second half should be something well it should be a great half and i mean nebraska came out really fired up as we expected to see them they broke from the locker room and uh, it just should be a great situation the, take a quick look at the stats you can see a passing yard 60 for nebraska 105 for hawaii there's a difference rushing yards 184 for nebraska versus 41 244 total yards for nebraska versus 146 for hawaii Two turnovers, big turnovers made a difference. Look at the time of possessions. We said earlier, Jim, 18:34 for Nebraska, 11:26 for Hawaii. Obvious disparity on the stats department, but on the scoreboard, 10 nothing for Hawaii, and that's where it really counts. So the Rainbow Seniors, 21 of them, playing their last half of football. Nebraska trailing 10 to nothing in this game, and the crowd getting back into it. The Rainbows will be on offense here in the third quarter, and they will be moving from south to north, or as we sit here on the Mackay side of Aloha Stadium tonight, Diamond Head toward Pearl City. It's going to be a great 30 minutes of football. No matter what happens, this will be a great 30 minutes of football. Both teams are going to go at each other in the season finale real tough here. 
So Nebraska, the number three team, headed for the Orange Bowl against LSU. They lose this game, they can forget any outside chance for a national championship. Should Penn State and Georgia tie, for instance? That, that's, that's a possibility. The Confensus brothers are back deep for the Rainbows. Kent hurts the fences. Here comes the kickoff. It is high, it is long, backing up in the end zone and taking it down on one knee is Kent Defensive. And the Rainbows will put the ball in play at the 20-yard line. Bernard Quarles, who enjoyed perhaps his finest half of football in his final game, trots out to lead the offense. You know, Jim, and I go back to the offensive line again, too, on the passing plays. That's part of the reason why Hawaii has 105 yards and throwing as far as the ability to protect Quarles the way they've done. They've just done an excellent job. Rainbows are to the line, but the officials are not ready. Now, the uh, referee, Joe Ornelas, has come all the way over to talk to Tom Osborne, coach of Nebraska, says something to him, and we'll go back on the other side. And I believe, and I believe what he is saying is that the end zone clocks that count down, the one in the south end zone has malfunctioned. Yeah. In the north end zone, it will count down 25 seconds, but in the south end zone, that clock reads zero. So that is what he is informing the uh, coaches of both teams, that the end zone clocks are not working, at least team. one of them. You know, Jim, just a, just a small observation, but at the uh, beginning of the game, half of the Nebraska team was sitting on the bench. Now at the start of the second half, their entire team is up and on the sideline as close to the field as they can get. Obviously, they've been talked to at the half. First down and 10 for the Rainbows from their own 20-yard line as Leo straightened out the clock situation. The formation, Anthony Edgar on a sweep hit at the 19-yard line. Great hit by Steve McWhorter out of Fairfield, Iowa. 14 tackles against Oklahoma last week. 6'2", 285-pound senior. And a loss on the play back to the 19, second down and 11. What Steve a hit. Steve McWhorter come over, just a great hit. Actually, he's 235, but he's a rangy linebacker. He's a ranging linebacker, just a great hit on Edgar. Kurt Kofensis and Walter Murray are the wide receiver. Split backs now, Edgar and Reggie Young behind Quarles. Quarles looking for the quick pattern. No, gives it on a delay to Edgar. He's hit back at the 17-yard line. And the Nebraska defense in the first two plays of the second half. And again, it's McWhorter, Steve McWhorter, number 45. Well, he's playing heads up. He just came in and filled the hole and had Edgar on the backside. McWhorter very alertly there. Interesting call by the Bozo. I don't think, again, Jim, we've seen that offensive play this year. Third down and 12 from their own 18-yard line. Out of the huddle come the Rainbows. Reggie Young trots off the field. Back to pass. Quarrel. Dropped all the way back inside his 10-yard line. Has the time. Throws. It is complete. Out at the 26-yard line to Pacentis. Penalty flag fly. And we may have a roughing the passer. It'll definitely be roughing the passer, Jim. It's on Jeff Merrill, 6'4", 258-pound nose guard. Roughing the passer. And the Rainbows young. will know that benefit from that. Okay. Wells comes back in. He gets lots and lots of time. There's nobody there. In fact, Merrill, the nose guard, is the only one who man manages to get through. We will not see him. Wells gets the ball off, and Merrill comes on up and makes the tackle. That's a great break for Hawaii. Nebraska coaches very upset with the call on the near sideline. That gives Hawaii a first down at their own 41. And you heard Joe Anellis, first down, roughing the passer. And Tom Osborne out on the field now, about a step. He's yelling at uh, some of the officials. Wide receivers, left and right. Murray to the near side and Kofensis to the far side. That's Kirk Kofensis. Back to pass, Quarles. Hitch pattern, complete to Kofensis. But he is hit back and dropped at the 37-yard line. Alan Lyde, 5'11", 185-pound cornerback. Good job. You can see the Nebraska players fired up. Quarles again coming back here. Just that little hitch pattern over here, almost like a screen. He gets the ball to Kofensis. He's got a blocker in front of him. Lyde does a good job of coming through Kenny Moore to make the tackle. Just a real fine defensive effort right there by Alan Lyde, the senior. Second down and 11 for the Rainbows. Nobles is flanked to the near side. Single setback behind Quarles. Passing formation. Now no setback. In motion is Edgar. 
Back to pass for looking for Edgar, throws for Edgar. Complete at the 47, he gets to the 48-yard line. He is short of the first down. Scott Strasburger there to make the stop for Nebraska, 6'2", 207-pound sophomore. Again, an offensive play designed to get the ball out in the perimeter to Edgar. One of the best players, give him the ball to flat, let him get open in the open field. Here he comes, Carl's coming here. Anthony runs a flare type of pattern, gets open up the sideline, they hit him, but good pursuit by Nebraska. Michael Akiu and Dwayne Coleman are the wide receivers. Fletcher is the fullback, Edgar the tailback. Quarles with a long count, third down and three. Quarles rolls, team chase, throws. It is complete to Akiu. He's at the Nebraska 40-yard line. That is the first down, but wait a minute. We have a penalty flag on the play. Alan Lydae made the tackle downfield. We'll see here, Jim. It may possibly come back against Hawaii with a procedure call. Illegal procedure against the Rainbow. 12.07 left to play, third quarter, and you take another look at Bernard Quarrel. Quarrel's coming back, looking all the way. He knows where he wants to go. He sees it downfield. Excellent release on the ball. Great pattern there. He's open, but they're going to bring it back for procedure. But Q just got open beautifully, running that, that uh, kind of a deep out pattern, Jim, in the flat. Just wide open. Great job by Quarrel's to see him, too. So the line of finish being the Rainbow 48-yard line, it's Five-yard penalty will move it back to the 43. Here's Joe Armello. Illegal procedure. Offense. Six men on the line. Third down now for the Rainbows. Third and eight. And we begin to play as the clock starts. 12.04 left to play in the third quarter. 10-0 Rainbows. Rainbows flip-flop the tight end. Kenny Moore sets up on the right side. Back to pass four. Has the time. Goes over the middle. Battered away and almost intercepted by Steve McWhorter. And boy, has he made his name really evident here in the third quarter. He is a really ranging linebacker, as I said already. You're going to see Qualls go back. He's looking for Coleman downfield. Comes back and drops. Nice protection by the offensive line. Gets it downfield. He's looking for Coleman, but McWhorter comes over beautifully. Just makes it up, breaks it up beautifully. Just like you want a linebacker to do. Irving Fryer and Jeff Smith back deep for Nebraska to kick. Here's Natividad. Tom Osborne along the sidelines, pacing. There's the kick by Natividad. No fair catch. It's fumbled and recovered by Nebraska. On the 23-yard line, Jeff Smith fumbled the ball, but he was able to gather it back in. And James Moore is hurt, and he is writhing in pain. He's holding his left knee there, Jim, too. A big tough break for Moore. He's been a great special teams player as a senior here. Just a great player. He's holding that left knee. You hate to see that. James Moore, a definite loss. If he has to leave the game. Okay, you see, see Jeff Smith on the replay fumbling the ball, but he's able to reach down and gather it back in. Here comes James Moore. And Moore really hit it. And he may have injured his wrist, or he may have... I think it was his left knee, Jim. That's where he was holding it. As he came down, it looked as if he was on it when he made the tackle. He might have just strained something in there. We'll be back with more from Aloha Stadium, Hawaii, and Nebraska Nuffer. Turner Gill has come in at quarterback for Nebraska. When behind, you go with your best. 89 of 161 passes, 55%, 1,146 yards. Turner Gill, number 12. Nebraska flip-flops the tight end, Mitch Crank. Ball is given to Trey. He is swarmed and wrestled out of bounds by Steve Lee Hoare. Also oh. there, Emlyn Tahoamu yeah. and Paula Nikononga. And Darrell Williams and uh, Kessie Afalava, everybody coming over. Great pursuit to the football by Hawaii's defense. Turner Gill, who everyone said had a sore back in the first day. You begin <laughs> to wonder about things like that. Uh, uh, we see him this half, that's for sure. Doesn't appear that his back is sore at all. Todd Brown is flanked to the far side. Second down and eight. Ball is given on a quick slant to Wilkening. And he is met by the wall of green led by Salonika Nonga. Good block by Remington that time. Although, tell you, tell you what, when Hawaii lines up Tune in front of him, Tune does a good job of giving him something to handle. Steve Lehor also went on the play for the Rainbows. Short of the first down, third down, five yards to go. The ball on their own 28-yard line. Here comes the big red. Todd Brown flanked to the far side. Picked up by Fred Hemphill. Flip back behind the quarterback, Turner Gill. Gill can also run. He can also pass. He sets the offensive pace. Fryer in motion. 
steal with a quick turn and pattern. It is incomplete. Quick play by Hemphill. It was intended for Todd Brown on the quick pattern. Fourth down. Nebraska will have to punt it away. Oh, boy, I tell you, Fred Hemphill just having a couple of great plays tonight. We'll see it right here. Gill coming back. He's going to look. He wants to hit that quick slant, and Hemphill comes up real quick. Is in the perfect point of attack right there. Just a great job by Fred Hemphill reading that play perfectly. Grant Campbell in to punt for Nebraska. Vernon Gearing standing back at the Rainbow 35-yard line. 10, 28 left to play in the third quarter. Rainbows continue to lead, 10 to nothing. It is blocked. It's blocked by Capensis. It's picked up by Achille. He lodges it ahead to Longa, but that won't count. The Rainbows will have the ball at the 10-yard line. What a play by Kent Capensis. What a play by the Rainbows. Oh, I'll tell you. You talk about chicken skin, James. You've got to have it now. What an incredible effort. What a great effort. First down for the Rainbow, just outside the Nebraska 10-yard line. Take a look at it. Here comes Defenses. He's coming real hard. He's up there perfectly like he should be. Great block. No question about it. Great effort by Kent Defenses. So Grant Campbell never had a chance. He took just too long. Here come the Rainbows to the line. First down. They have a chance to make another first down before they get to the goal line. Raphael Cherry has come into the game at tailback. And timeout has been called by the Rainbows. Timeout has been called with 10-13 left to play in the third quarter. The Rainbows, 10, Nebraska, nothing. Christmas is a time for creating magic. But like any other time, it has its, uh, sticky situations. Your friends at Finance Factors understand, and they can help. Come into any of their 22 locations and get a loan of $1,000, $2,000 or more. Just a thing to lift your spirits and add some glitter to the holidays. First down for the Rainbows, just outside the Nebraska 10-yard line. In motion is Noble. Pitch goes to Cherry. Throws to the end zone. Incomplete. Double covered. It was intended for Nobles. And Raphael Cherry again inserted into the backfield. Wearing a different number. He was <laughs> had that first jersey ripped off. Burke and Lyde, both the uh, cornerbacks and the safeties back there, make a great, great play for Nebraska. You see Qualls take the handoff. Just pitch it back to Cherry. He's looking right downfield. He knows who where Nobles is. He gets it down there, but Burke and Lyde come over nicely. Oh, what a great effort. Though Nobles ran out of real estate action, but got it high up in the air. Great effort. Second down, just outside the Nebraska 10-yard line. Back to pass quarter. Looking. Rolling. Looking still. He's in trouble at the 10. He's knocked out of bounds at the line of scrimmage. It will be third down. Good job by Nebraska. How about the Bulls trying to throw to get in there like that, boy? I'll tell you, they're playing. They're playing. Nobody open that time. Good job by the Corn Huskers And Dick Tomey. Talking to Capensis on the sidelines across the way, ready to send him in with the play. Oh, he's feeling real good right now. I'll tell you, Dan Kroger did a nice job of coming over. We've not heard his name much, but he's been an all-big eight linebacker for him. Did a nice job of coming up that time, getting calls out of bounds. Uh, hey, you got to be impressed with Hawaii's play calling. They're trying to put it in there nicely. 9.58 for many to be played in the third quarter. Capensis and Murray are playing to the left. In motion is Capensis. Rolling is Coral. He's looking. He may run. He is chased down and dropped at the 11-yard line. Another great job. Steve Damfoger of Nebraska. Oh, and the Rainbows again trying to throw to get into the end zone. Well, they did a good job. Damfoger is just a fine-looking linebacker. That time, Qualls got to credit Nebraska's defense and that tight man down there. They locked into the receivers. Bernard, you see Bernard come out here now. He's looking to go downfield. He's coming out. Everybody's covered. Offensive line blocking real well, but here comes Dan Kroger. Open field. Great job on the quarterback. Makes the tackle. Lee Larson in to try the field goal angle from the left. They put it on the 17-yard line. 27-yard attempt. It's back. It's down. It is drilled. It is good. The block punt by Kent Kofentis sets up the 27-yard field goal by Lee Larson. 9-12, left to play in the third quarter. Hawaii, 13, Nebraska, nothing. 13 to nothing in favor of the Rainbows. 9-12, left to play in the third quarter. Lee Larson playing his last game for Hawaii. Getting set to kick off. 
Jeff Smith, Irving Fryer, deep for Nebraska. There's the kick by Larson. It is high. Backing up and taking it is Smith. He will not return it. And Nebraska will put the ball in play at the 20-yard line. And now a concerned Nebraska team. A team that came into Aloha Stadium tonight ranked number three. An Orange Bowl first. A Big 8 championship. A national television victory over Oklahoma last week. And tonight, trailing Hawaii by 13. The key for Hawaii's defense is do not give up the big play. Don't let them get a whole bunch of real estate easy. There's the Hawaii scoring drive. First down for Nebraska at the 20-yard line. Turner Gill gives it to Trey. He has a hole out over the 25, struggles to the 29-yard line. Good power running by Craig Steve Lehor. Ankle tackled him, and a good gain of nine yards, second down and one. Well, he really comes to. You watch Craig in here from the tailback position come up and just give it to Lehor. Lehor coming over, just a good matchup. What a tough running back. Right over the top of Steve Lehor. He keeps going, but the Lehor is able to stop his momentum. Roger Craig, tough running back. Second down and one. Todd Brown flanked to the far side and Fryer to the near side. Ball is pitched to Craig. Craig gets by Lehor. Craig is chased down from behind by number 90, Mark Tuine. That is enough for a first down. Good power running by Nebraska. And that is out now over the 35-yard line to the 38-yard line, where it will be first and 10 for the Big Red. Good pursuit that time by Kenny Brewer, uh, Kenny Brewer and Tuine getting over there. Uh, Nebraska beginning to uh, flex its muscles a little bit. Real strong explosion up front. Ball is given up the middle. Taking the ball is Wilkening. Wilkening to the 40, to the 41. Gain of three, second and seven. So Nebraska is now playing just power football, what they call smash ball. Right. That's what I meant by that last comment. They're just trying to, they're coming at Hawaii, perhaps trying to wear them down maybe. Just figuring, hey, we're physically real tough and they're going to try to just, just take it to him for a few plays and get ahead stays a little bit, maybe and try to go in for the big one. But Hawaii holding real nice on defense. Real there nice. is a saying in football that says physical superiority cancels all three. Nebraska trying to prove that right here on this drive. Second down and three from their own 40. Turner Gill gives it to Roger Craig. Another hole, but it's plugged up as he gets to the 45-yard line, short of the first down. Steve Lehor leading the stop, along with John Taylor, the linebacker on the left side. It will be third down for Nebraska. Big third down play. Nebraska wants to keep this drive going. 7.25 left to play, third quarter. Rainbow's leading 13 to nothing. Rich Miano goes into the game replacing Tessie Afalaba. Rainbow's have five defensive back men. Third down and three. Swanson is flanked to the far side. Ball is kept by Turner Gill. Gill to the 50, to the 45, to the 43-yard line of the Rainbow's. Good running by Turner Gill. That is enough for a Nebraska first down. He just breaks several tackles here. He keeps the ball good at Libby, tucks it up inside, inside his tackles there. Take it on the replay. He comes here. He's going to break a tackle. Nico breaks Tuine's tackle. Has Kenny, uh, Kenny Brew turned around. Finally, Confensis comes over, and they rope him down. But he just broke a couple of tackles. Strong runner, Turner Gill. Roger Craig in the game in replace uh, or in replacement of Mike Rosier. He has a hurt left knee, and the leading ground gainer of Nebraska may yet return to this game. He did that on the last play of the first half, too, Jim. I think that's Leho being, Leho hobbling off the field. We can't quite see his number, but I think it is Steve Leho. Steve Leho being helped off now. Leho playing his last game, and that looks, uh, appears to be his left knee. We've not had an injury report on James Moore, but we know for sure it was his left knee when he was taken off the field. So Lehor now, who has played fine, a fine, solid game at linebacker. They have Falanika Nonga at linebacker now. Ball is given to Craig. Craig muscles to the Rainbow 39-yard line. Anthony Woodson there to make the stop. It will be second down. And about seven yards to go for the first down. Ball right on the Rainbow 40. I'll tell you, Hawaii's defensive front doing a, doing a good job of offsetting the blocks for Nebraska. Even though Nebraska with a power forward and make three, four yards, but nonetheless, they're not getting completely blown out of there. Good job by the defense. Second down and seven from the Rainbow 40. 6.22 left, third quarter. Rainbow's lead 13 to nothing. Ball is kept by Gill. Rolling. Pitches back to Craig. Gets by Hemphill. Nunga hits him out of bounds. That's an incredible play by Nico Nunga to be all the way over on the far sideline 
from an inside position. I'm not sure if he lined up with a linebacker or a nose guard that time. It may have been a linebacker, but nonetheless, to get all the way out, we'll see the play here. Gill pitches the ball, and here comes Nico way down the far sideline. What an incredible athletic effort. Just super, super effort by Nico Nonga. That's enough for another Nebraska first down. The ball is now on the 31-yard line of Hawaii. Todd Brown is flanked to the near side. Timeout is called for the moment. 6-12 left. Here comes the referee, Joe Anellis. Timeout is called by the Rainbow. 6-12 left to play, third quarter. Nebraska on the move, but the Rainbows lead 13 to nothing. We'll be back. Hey, Hawaii! Picture this under your Christmas tree. If you've ever dreamed of owning your own large offshore sailboat, this is for you. Now, thanks to Free Spirit Sailing Systems, you can join in a sailing co-op and get involved in the fun, excitement, and learning of consistent big boat sailing at a fraction of the usual cost. So why wait? Put a little adventure in your life. Come join a select group of individuals in Hawaii's greatest gift idea. Call 737-8115, Free Spirit Sailing Systems. Shouting match happening now. Hawaii fans yelling, go big green. Nebraska fans, go big red. Ball is given to Flyer on an inside handoff. He floats the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Nebraska. He's got a flag down, Jim. There's a flag on the field. Flag back up field at the 12-yard line. Flag is back up field at the 12-yard line. And Osborne's just perched to go crazy down there. And it is not a touchdown for Nebraska. I don't know. I we do got, not believe. We'll we've see. got players. It's hard to say what they're going to call here. I think it's against Nebraska. Let's though. listen to Joe Arnellis, the referee. Nebraska, personal foul. Touchdown. It is still a touchdown. Dead ball foul. He gave the touchdown signal. They will be penalized probably on the kickoff. Where Great inside handoff to Fryer. They're just running that, that counter with the wing back right off tackle like that, or off tackle, whatever they want to call it. He just gets downfield. Great explosion by Fryer. The Bulls have bottled that play here to four, but that time they just got the block in up front. Seibel in to try the extra point. Turner Gill will hold, and he does so. They look at the scoreboard, 6.06 left to play in the third quarter. And Nebraska now has come back. They are on the board. Hawaii leads 13-7. 13 to 7 in favor of Hawaii now. Over Nebraska, both teams have scored one touchdown in this game. The difference is two Lee Larson field goal. Nebraska went 80 yards in eight plays. Fryer, rather a Fryer, a 31-yard run. And the time of the drive, six minutes, six seconds. Kent defenses deep for the rainbow. Steve Lehor, we have a uh, injury report on him. Sprained ankle. He may or he may not return. It is questionable. Short kick. Kofensis at the 17, the 20, 25, the 30, the 40-yard line could return by Kent Kofensis. That's where that penalty comes into play, at least to some merit in it, because the Bulls will take... Take the ball at decent field position. I've also been handed an injury report on James Moore, Jim. He does have torn ligaments in his left knee. He will not return tonight. Tough break for James Moore. A great senior, great special teams player, and a good back. 22-yard return by Kofensis. Bernard Quarles with a 13-7 lead here in the third quarter. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. In motion is Murray. Quarles rolling, looking. Goes over the middle. It is complete for Murray. At the 45-yard line, he is down to the Nebraska 43, but we have a penalty flag down. I think it's going to be against Hawaii, Jim. The preliminary is it's going to be against Hawaii. Tough break. Murray ran the great pattern, got open, quarreled with great zip in the ball tonight, gets it downfield. Illegal, Illegal motion. motion. That's a tough break. 5.49 left to play in the third quarter, 13 to 7. We'll take another look at it. We don't get a look at the motion thing, but Quarles coming back. Good job of ball handling. Looking downfield, Murray's run himself a nice pattern here. He finds himself open right there and going towards the inside. Turns around, they, they come to him, but just good execution between Murray and Quarles and a great job of blocking by the offensive line. They have really given Bernard Quarles the kind of protection he is needed tonight as a passer. Rainbows will have first down and 15 from the 35-yard line. Dick Tomey across the way, wearing the headset. 
Out of the huddle come the Bows. Kirk DeFrancis has flanked to the near side. Single setback. Passing formation. In motion goes Anthony Edgar. And Dwayne Coleman jumps offside. Rainbows will still have a first down, but they will have first and 20 from their own 30-yard line. They've got to settle down here. Matter of composure. They've just got to get themselves together. Don't make too many mistakes. Don't hurt themselves by their own mistakes. They just get it going as they had the whole first half. Five thirty-two remaining to be played. Well, that's Talking to play. Nebraska. There's Dwayne Coleman. Having a nice night. Three receptions for 40 yards. Just a tough break. He almost had that touchdown, too. When you're out there all by yourself and you jump offside like that, it's got to be kind of a strange feeling. Are they waving off the penalty? They are waving off the penalty. Inadvertent play. Huh. That's, that's a, I thought I saw Coleman jump offside. Coleman was way offside. That, that's great. That's a good pick for Hawaii. I don't know. They're calling the officials back in now. I can't believe that. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused on that. I think uh, Joe and Ellis having a pretty tough night tonight. They are huddling now in between the two players. But going back to Hawaii now, get some momentum going. They've got the advantage of decent field position on the kick return. They want to take advantage of that. If that yeah. was an inadvertent flag, there's got to be something fundamentally wrong yeah. here. Osborne wants, he's talking to Ornelas right now. He's saying, hey, I saw the guy offside. What's going on? you got to penalize him. Joe's saying no. And Osborne's saying, he's offside. Joe's saying no play. I can read his lips. No play, Joe Ornelas. That's what he said. They're ruling no play, Jim. So That's they're saying no play. If there was no play, then there was no play. Why was there no play? It, it is still first down. Right. It's no it play. is still first and 15, and it is still on the 35-yard line. And here comes the rainbow. And Osborne doesn't like it at all. And I tend to agree with it. Single setback. Quarles gives it to Edgar, trying to turn the corner. Does. 35, 40, 43-yard line. 5-13 left to play in the third quarter. Dave Burke there to make sure that Anthony Edgar goes no Take a look at it now. It's a deep hand off to Edgar. He's going to come up to the inside, break it to the outside. Great job now by the offensive line to get the, the line pursuing from Nebraska's defense, but the offensive line held it long enough to give Edgar that running room, and he picked up seven or eight yards. Ray Butler and Joe Nobles are flanked to the near side. Walter Murray to the far side. Back to pass, Brooks. Has the time. Throws over the middle. Complete to Butler. He is hit down at the 37-yard line. He holds on. First down, Rainbow. What a great reception by Butler because Jimmy is catching it in the middle of the field. You see Quarles come back again. Great protection. He's looking downfield to Murray. Now looks back off. Butler's running a post pattern over the middle. Quarles zips it right in the middle between the secondary and the linebackers. Great play. Butler paid for it, but a great reception. Good pass by Quarles. Brett Clark there to make the stop for Nebraska. First down for the Rainbows at the 36-yard line of Nebraska. 21-yard pickup on that play. Walter Murray, split receiver. Ball is given to Edgar. Edgar wiggles inside the 35, down to the 32-yard line. Steve Damkroger there to make the stop for Nebraska. Good poise here. The big thing for Hawaii is maintaining excellent field position now. They're getting down deep. Irrespective of their ability to score or whatever, they're going to keep keep Nebraska at bay. They, but this kind of a drive, they may very well get on the scoreboard here, Jim, but that was a very important series of first downs they've just picked up going downfield. Gain on the play on the gain on the play of four yards, second down, and six. The fences is flanked to the far side. Walter Murray to the near side. Extra the pass four. Has the time again. Now rolling to the far side. Dean Chase throws on the run. Incomplete. Or is it complete? No, they say. But Kofessis did not hold on. Oh, Kofessis made a diving attempt at the ball. What and the referee was right there. He was right there looking at Kofessis. And the official said, no catch. What an effort by Kofessis. I mean, he was just sprawled out, going through the air, low to the ground. I tell you, it was just a, we'll see it here. Some balls coming back. Again, pretty good job now, the offensive line. They were to beat the block. They're going to put a little pressure now. 75 for Nebraska. Put some pressure, but... Quarles, whoa, take a bite. No, no, it hit the ground. It hit the ground. Four minutes left to play, third quarter. 
Third down, big play for the Bulls. Ball is given up the middle to Crusher. Crusher may have the first down. He erupts inside the 30. We'll see where they give him the forward progress. He's got a he was inside the 30, and we'll see where they put the ball down. They have to go to the 26. They're going to put it on the 27. It will be fourth down and one. And short. Kenny Moore is down again for the Rainbows. It's going to be a short one, though, Jim, but I'll tell you, you're right. He exploded up in there. Great surge by everybody that time. Kenny Moore having some trouble with, uh, it looked like his left, his left leg, Jim. It will be fourth down, less than a yard to go for a first down, 345 left to play here in the third quarter. Rainbows leading 13 to 7, and Kenny Moore. Now the concern is for the big tight end, the senior out of Lethbridge, Alabama. And he's up, <laughs> and they'll help him off. I, I said it earlier, I'll say it again. It's his last game. What a tough kid Kenny Moore is. He's always impressed me with his toughness. Great player. 345 left to play. Fourth down. Rainbows are going to go for it. The crowd gets to its feet. Fourth down and one. Bernard Quarles follows the man into the line. And did he get the first down? I think he did, Jim. I think he's going to be just over. No measure, but I think he picked it up. He followed one of his uh, running backs into the line. I no. believe Quarles carried the ball. Didn't no, he gave it to George. No, let's see. No, he rode Fletcher. It was sort of a belly play, and he kept it. I think it just stretched it out. Fletcher blocked. Are they going to measure? I think they are, Jim, but I think he's picked it. We'll take a look at it. It's as if he rides Fletcher on a belly play up inside. He keeps the ball. Fletcher blocks for him. It comes up. It's exactly right. First down. First down, Rainbow. You know, Jim, I'll tell you some amazing statistic Chuck Halford just told me. That's the first first down in rushing for the Bulls tonight. Amazing. That, that is amazing. 327 left to play third quarter. Rainbow's on the Nebraska 26. They lead 13 to 7. Ball is kept by Quarles. He goes nowhere. Great job there by number 87, and that is Bill Weber. Oh, but the Bulls are in great field position. We'll see it again right here. Well, look, look at the offensive line just blow those people out. Wallace well, gets tackled, but I tell you, the right side of Hawaii's offensive line just taken back the white jerseys. That's great here late in the third quarter. Loss of one, second down and 11, 2.52 left to play in the third quarter, and the Rainbows lead it by six. Walter Murray flanked to the far side. Coleman and Noble to the near side. Back to pass Quarles. Here comes the flick. Keeps hit as he throws. The receiver falls down. It's into the end zone. No interference called. Incomplete pass. It will be third down. Yeah, Murray's kind of looking like he might have been tripped. The, the receiver, Murray, and the defensive back sort of collided with... Murray collided with Dave Burke, number 33 back there. And he tripped and he was out of the pattern. The ball was sort of up in the air and Murray was nowhere near it. Neither was Burke. Murray kind of looked at the official like, hey, I, this guy tripped me, but they're not calling anything. See Bernard back there talking, too. Third down and 11 for the Rainbows on the 27-yard line. 2.38 left to play in the third quarter. Quarles, delay. Reggie Young to the 25. And we may see Lee Larson. Well, he's got a strong wind in his back, Jim. They wanted to keep the ball in the middle of the field. I, undoubtedly, we'll see, Larson. This will be a very big field goal if he can put it through the uprights here. He's got a strong wind in his back. You look at those flags now, Jim. They're out there pretty straight. Lee Larson puts the ball down on the 32. It will be a 42-yard attempt. Slight angle from the right. He is kicking from Diamond Head toward Pearl City. Frank Natividad will hold. It is back. It is down. It is on its way. It is. It is. Go! Lee Larson, what a way to finish it. Lee Larson, a 42-yard field goal. That's great. That's just what they needed to score in that possession. I said earlier about getting downfield, they got the three points and a big three at 16-7. 158 left to play third quarter. Oh, wait, he's 16, Nebraska 7. going on at Tower? Record discounts. Lots of them on hundreds of Motown LPs and cassettes. For $3.99 at Tower Records, get Al Green's greatest hits. 
The Temptations, I Wish It Would Rain, Skylarking with Grover Washington, and Motown's 12 number one hits of the 70s, all $3.99 each. And there's more going on at Tower, lots more. Tower Records, your music, your kind of price. 16 to 7, 11 plays, 60 yards, 1 minute and 58 seconds. There's the kickoff by Lee Larson. It is taken in the end zone by Jeff Smith. He will not return it. And Nebraska will put the ball in play at the 20-yard line. Lee Larson having himself a good night, both on kickoffs and field goals with three big ones. Strong leg, nice way to finish up the season, Lee. At the end of this game, the 21 seniors will... Take the tour of Aloha Stadium, walk around the field. It has become a tradition, and many of the fans will stay in their seats and wait for them to come back out for their final bow. 158 left, third quarter. Rainbows lead 16 to 7. Turner Gill to the tailback. Roger Craig, no game. They folded him backwards. Well, Anthony Woodson comes up and really unloads on him. Somebody else gets in there just before him, and it looked to me as if it was Luis Santiago. Santiago hit him low, Woodson hit him high, and they just bent him back. We'll see it again over here. Watch the play. They just try to come off tackle right here. And Santiago coming in low and Woodson high. Great job. Woo! Emlyn Kaho'amo is down. Anthony Woodson, you see him. He'll, he is a junior. I think you've got to give Luis Santiago on some of that too, Jim. He was in there. It looked like it was coming up from the secondary. Just a nice play. Emlyn being helped to his feet. And he appears to be okay. 1.43 left to play in the third quarter. And the fans here at Aloha Stadium, the applause, applauding for the effort of Emlyn Kaohano. He's going to be okay. Big kid for a sophomore, 6'4", 230 pounds, good football player. No gain on that last play, second down and 10. Wilkening and Roger Craig are in the I formation behind Turner Gill. Gill turns, rolls along the line to the near side, cuts it upfield, gets to the 25, still on his feet, out over the 30 to the 31. Penalty play has been thrown. Nice block by Mandelko. I don't know who they're going to call this on. They'll be holding against Nebraska. Holding Nebraska. Got another bow down on the field. Another rainbow player down the field. Looks like it may be Nico. Well, Nico Nunga is down now. That time he was in that line. We'll see it here. Tuine was down over the nose. Nunga was at the linebacker position. Then Delco coming up through. Good block. But now watch Gil break the tackles. Boy, he's tough. Just all over him. He just keeps going. Just keeps going. He's a tough quarterback. Finally, Kapalava brings him down. Turner Gill did not play the Turner Gill did not play the first half for Nebraska and appears that uh, Paul Nikonoga may have run into his own defensive pursuit. Anyway, he is down. Another tonight's effort by Falonika. Falonika was very spirited, just to say the least. Incredible. You look at Afalava coming off the block, but Mandelko puts a good block on Kessie there the second time through. Now Gill sees nowhere to go. Woodson's got it shut off. He tucks back up inside. Afalava trying to come over. Right there, I think it's, I thought that was Nico right there. And Afalava brings him down. Okay, you see Nico down. Somebody pushes his face in the ground. I think he's going to be all right. One of his own players coming over the top. What a tough player. And a holding penalty called on Nebraska. Moves the ball back inside the 15-yard line to the 14. Falonico walking slowly off the field. Well, it's not his legs. It may have been his head or something. But he'll be back. He'll be back. 124 left to play in quarter number three. Take you back a few years to the University of Southern California. They were in here. The end of the third quarter, the Rainbows were leading seven to five. The Rainbows ended up losing that game. Nebraska, the number three team in the nation, with an outside shot at the national championship. Many people believe to be this the best. And they are trailing the Bows late in the third quarter. Back to pass Gill. Looks long over the middle. Wide open is Fryer. He has it at the 39-yard line. Rainbows are saying no, uh, no reception. And so now the official. the official says no reception. He may not have had possession when he went down. I, I think that's exactly, obviously, that's exactly it, Jim. Hempel came across the field. Somebody cut him. 
just a good job. We'll take another look at it. Gill comes back. He's getting pretty good protection up front. He looks down one way, comes back, looks across. Going to drill the ball downfield. Good job here. Now we'll see what comes into the play. Trial looks like he's wide open. Pat looks like well, he dropped he the ball. Not. He, he did dropped not the ball. Have. It is third down. Line of scrimmage for 14. Back to pass from the Gill. Three man pattern. Throws up the sideline. It is complete to Brown. Brown is tackled from behind. And they come right back. Daryl Williams got him at midfield. And Nebraska now has a first down with less than a minute to play in the third quarter. That's just that's just a, a go pattern up the sideline by the split end, Todd Brown. We'll take a look at it. Gill looking all the way, just letting Brown streak up the sideline, throws the ball, beautiful pass, nice trajectory coming down. You see he's wide open right there. He's able to beat Williams, catches the ball, coming down, we'll get some help coming over, not quite enough by Santiago. Williams comes up and makes the tackle. First and 10 from midfield for Nebraska. In motion, tight end Jamie Williams. May have been a broken play. Carrying the ball up the middle was Gill inside Rainbow Territory. Locking out in front, Dave Remington, the two-time Outland Trophy winner. 22 seconds left to play in the third quarter. 16 to 7, Rainbow's lead. Turner Gill has attempted 70 straight passes without an interception. That's an amazing statistic. Second down and seven from the Rainbow 47. Ball is given to Cray. He's to the 44. And he's shut off by Larry Goer. That is the end of the third quarter. Three in the book. The Hawaii Rainbow 16. The Cornhuskers of Nebraska 7. We begin quarter number four. Rainbow's leading Nebraska 16 to 7. It all comes down to this 15 minutes. First down for Nebraska, big third down play. Third and four from the Rainbow 44. High formation behind Turner Gill. Gill rolling, turns the corner, has the first down, gets outside, the 30, knocked out of bounds at the Rainbow 24-yard line. And Nebraska knocking on the door. Well, what a sweet play at Gill as he comes out like he's running the option. He's just going to keep the ball and he just goes, and nobody getting over there. But the Hawaii, he's able to turn it up field and pick up a bunch of yardage. Turner Gill last week was 7 for 17 for 74 yards in passing and rushing. He rushed 15 times for 65 yards. He can pass, he can throw. First down for Nebraska, the 24 of the Rainbow. Gill with a long count. Gives it to the eye back. Roger Cray inside the 20, all the way to the Rainbow 17. That was classic Nebraska. They're running the isolation up inside with the fullback block and giving it deep to the eye back, trying to power it up in there. Just a classic Nebraska play. They picked up eight yards on nothing but power football. And the clock ticking away, but an eternity left. 14 minutes, 29 seconds. Out of the huddle comes Nebraska at the Rainbow 17. Shane Swanson flanked to the far side. Todd Brown to the near side. Wilkening and Craig are in the eye formation. Turner Gill turn. Pitches it to Roger Craig. Inside the 15. Craig has the first down as he gets to the Rainbow 13-yard line. One of the concerns, Jim, you talked about the intangibles, the imponderables, or whatever. We'll take a look at it here. Hawaii overshifted to the left side. Ooh, a little fancy move there between Goers and Tuine. Kenny Brew coming over, steps up in there. They come up and make the tackle. But the defense has been on the field for a long time, Jim. Been on the field for a very long time this game. Good running by Roger Craig. First down and 10 from the Rainbow 13. Ball is given up the middle to Wilkening. And Wilkening gets it inside the 10. We'll see where they give him the forward progress. They will put it on the nine. Second down for Nebraska. 1340 left to play. 16 to seven in favor of the Rainbows. But Nebraska edging ever so close to the Rainbow goal line. Now, timeout has been called by Nebraska. No, by the Rainbow. Timeout has been called by the Rainbows with 13.27 left to play in the fourth quarter. And the Rainbow's leading Nebraska 16-7. First 
13.27 left, second down from the nine-yard line, Nebraska in possession. Rainbow trying to stiffen. Hill turns, gives it to the eye back play. He's hit by Nate Fletcher at the eight. Is able to wiggle free and get all the way down to around the five-yard line. Well, we'll see where what? they give him forward progress. They're going to put it on the sixth, third down. What you have going on right now is you're telling Remington, Mendelko, and Glad that they're other offensive guards. Here we go, classic eye back. Look at this here, the fullback leading up in there, giving it to Craig. They're just trying to run that power fullback isolation over that middle three on offense. They're just trying to wear them down, Jim. Nebraska 319 yards in rushing. The Rainbow's only 58. Third down, big play here. Big play. The ball is kept by Turner Gill. There was a mix-up in the backfield. There may have been a fumble. We'll see. I think Nebraska has possession, but one thing for sure, it'll be fourth down. I think Nebraska has the ball. There was a mix-up in the handoff between Craig and Turner Gill. We'll take a look at it right here. A little bit of confusion right there. Takes it in the hip. The ball bounces down. Gill has it. No, he doesn't. The ball goes up into the line. There it is. Still bouncing around, Jim. It's on the ground. Nobody seems to know where it is. A Hawaii player comes over. Does it, should have Hawaii have been given possession, you think, on that replay? Well, nobody had their hands on the ball. That's amazing. The line of scrimmage is the six-yard line. It will be fourth down. Here comes Nebraska. And they will try for the field goal. Kevin Seibel. It is back. It is down. It is kicked. Whistles blew. It is good. It is good. So Nebraska comes back to within six. 11.51 left to play. A statement about the Hawaii defense. Nebraska 17 for three. 11.51 quarter. Hawaii leading Nebraska 16 to 10. Well, Rick, you look at this game and you look at the way it has been played until now, just a spirited, exhilarating effort by the Rainbows, the decided underdog. They came into this game 28-point underdog. Some people said 40-point underdog. Talking to Nebraska people before this game started, they said, this is the best Nebraska team that we have seen, that we have had here. And uh, we hope that we'll take it easy on you. That's a Nebraska fan. You talk to the Hawaii fans, there was great faith in the Hawaii fans tonight. They seemed to sense something. Oh. Taking a look at that fumble, Turner Gill turns. He uh, collides with Roger Craig. Now the ball is lost, and you can see the ball get kicked up into the line. And it comes out again right here. You're going to see the ball pop into the screen. And nobody has possession. It's wrapping around some Hawaii That's player's right. There's leg. the ball. And it's right there. Gill's looking at it, and here comes a Hawaii player. Hawaii, I think, should have had possession. In fact, it was, um, I'm not sure who it was that came over. 11.51 left. Nebraska kicking off. The fence is his deep. Kent waits for it at the goal line. He's going to run it. He's to the 5. To the 10. He's hit at the 13-yard line, and down he goes. Well, big, big challenge now for Hawaii's offense. With 11.46 left to go in the game, the defense for Hawaii has been on the field a lot. The offense has been able to get that rest, the needed rest. They need ball control here, Jim. They've got to get something going, a big drive, keep Nebraska away from the football. Look at the time of possession of that scoring drive. 11 minutes and 51 seconds. Seibel with the field goal. Walter Murray and Joe Nobles are the wide receivers. Back to pass quarrels inside his five-yard line. Throws from the goal line. It is incomplete. It was intended for Reggie Young flaring out of the backfield. And Nebraska's defense really coming now. Jim, even though Hawaii's offense is on the field, I have two injury reports I feel that we should read. One, Kessie Afalaba has a pinched nerve in his neck but he is expected to return. Two, Falaniko Nanga was poked in the left eye, and it's unknown whether he will return or not. We thought it was some kind of a head injury, but we wanted to get that injury report in. Qualls does a nice job of selling the screen, Jim. He comes back, he's looking, he's looking, trying to suck in the defense, waiting for it to develop. As people are coming over, Young trying to get over there. Ball thrown a little bit, little bit high and deep on him. We are back live. Ball is given on the feet to Edgar. Edgar fumbles the ball. Nebraska has it. That is something that Hawaii could not afford going into this game. And that is to turn it over. Well, Edgar Allen, was really pot. He Allen, was really pot. Allen Lyde for Nebraska came up from the secondary and just, just unloaded on him. And Edgar very slow to get up. That was a great hit by Lyde. He's getting 
you see him being congratulated by his teammates, he really, he took the ball away from Anthony, just separated him from him. And Edgar was running hard, too. They just collided. It was a great football play. So the ball is on the 19-yard line. Nebraska now has a chance to take the lead. They trail by six. It is up to the rainbow defense. It has played at times brilliantly tonight. Here comes Nebraska. 11.34 left to play in the game. Turner Gill turns, keeps it, rolls to the near side, gets by Fletcher, he's at the 15, the 10, the 5, touchdown, Nebraska! Yeah, we have a great block by Dave Remington, I believe we have it on replay too coming up, we'll see if we can take another look at it, but Remington just unloads, here's Remington coming up, snaps the ball, We'll see him come into play right here. Gill coming down. They set up a wall as if it was a, a punt return, Jim. Here's Remington coming over. Just crushes. Can't make out the number there, but just a great block. 41 for Hawaii. That's Fletcher. Fletcher. Cyberlin to try the extra point to give uh, Nebraska the lead. He does. Good effort by Akio to block it. He was just a little late. And for the first time in this game, with 11 minutes, 27 seconds remaining to be played in the fourth quarter, Nebraska has the lead over Hawaii, 17 to 16. There's the kickoff by Nebraska, waiting for it is Capensis, Kent. He's at the 5, the 10, struggles out to the 14-yard line, that's it. So now it becomes imperative for the Rainbows to put together a drive and capture back the lead. It's definitely up to the offense here, Jim. The defense has played superb, superb football. Even though they just scored at will there after a fumble recovery, it's up to the offense now to make something happen. They've had a lot of time sitting on the sideline. They've got to get it going. For the first time of this game, the Rainbows huddling behind in the score, 17 to 16. Walter Murray is flanked to the far side. To the near side is Joe Noble. Back to pass, Quarles has the time. Looks over the middle, still looking. Chased out of the pocket. Throws, incomplete. Reggie Young was in the area. It is not intentional grounding. It will be second down and 10. Jeff Merrill and those guys just put, came in and made the sack on uh, Bernard. Not actually a sack, obviously, because he gets the ball off, but Merrill the those guys, the guy that comes in there. Bernard looking upfield deep now. Now he's going to try to check off to his hot receiver, the fullback. A little bit too late. Merrill has him wrapped up. Just a lot of strength by the nose guard. Second down and 10 for the Rainbows. Fences and Butler are flanked to the near side. Back to pass Quarles. Chased out of the pocket, throws over the middle for Butler. It is incomplete. Interference is called. Well, it's going to be a close call. Close call. He may have been on him just a split second too soon. We'll take a look at it right here. This ought to be great. Now we'll get a real good look at it. Bernard coming back. He's getting great protection by the offensive line. They're giving him the time now. He's looking downfield. He gets the ball off beautifully. Let's see if we see it. Well, I tell you, it's hard to call from there, Jim. Hard to call, but nonetheless, the official called it, and it'll be first down for Hawaii. Interference call on Brett Clark of Nebraska. That's an automatic first down for the Rainbows. at their own 25-yard line, 11.09 left to play in the game, and they trail by one. Out of the huddle they come. Quarles again drops back. Looks over the middle. Throws long over the middle for Butler. It is intercepted. Intercepted by Clark. Clark starts back upfield. The 40. The 45. The 50. And he is upended by George Fletcher at the 50-yard line. First down, Nebraska. Another turnover by the Bows. Tough break. Good interception. They were down deep. Boy, the Quarles sort of fall downfield. Starts off again with great pass protection by the offensive line. Look at the protection. He just lets that ball fly way downfield. Looks as if Butler's going to run underneath, but just set safety in great position there. Brett Clark playing a deep middle third, comes up with it. Butler fails to make the tackle, which is very costly. A few trying to come up field. Great tackle by Fletcher. Ball is given to Craig. He leaps over the man at the line of scrimmage. He is loose in the rainbow secondary. 30, 25, 20, inside the 25, the 20 yard line to the 17. Anthony Woodson and Nate Fletcher had to chase him down. Nebraska right back knocking on the door. And Nebraska really beginning to assert themselves now. The fourth quarter for the Rainbow. They led going into the fourth quarter. 
and now they find themselves behind 17-60. Nebraska has packed 10 points on the board, and they're knocking on the door. They want more. Ball is given to Flyer. Flyer to the 10. Flyer to the 6-yard line. Enough for another first down for Nebraska. And the physical superiority of Nebraska really beginning to tell as the rainbow defense which has been on this field almost entirely here from the halfway point of the third quarter until here in the fourth quarter must try to stem the tide. There you see the run by Craig being tackled by Fletcher. Here comes, rather the run by Fryer. Here comes uh, Nebraska. Simmons, this flanks to the near side. Ball is given to Craig at the five. Breaks the tackle. Touchdown. Nebraska. Take a look at it. Back to Craig now. Just a quick pitch. He's got some people out in front of him. He's going to run. Cuts it back up inside. Just will not go down. Kenny Brook gets the shot on Roger Craig. Not enough. Gets some help by Hemphill. He keeps his balance. Keeps driving for the end zone and gets in for the touchdown. Very, very determined run by Roger Craig. Waiting to attack on the extra point is Seibel. He does so. And Nebraska now. 24 to 16 over the rainbows with 10 minutes and 14 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter and it has been turnovers a pass interception and a fumble that have led to nebraska scores and the corn huskers have taken advantage of it and they now lead we'll be back <laughs> nebraska kicks off again Kofensis comes up takes it at the five yard line fumbles the ball Goes back and picks it up. He's in trouble, and down he goes at the nine. So Nebraska, it is all big red now. They've been able to turn over two rainbow mistakes, turn them into scores, come back from a 10 to nothing halftime deficit, and now lead 24 to 16 over the rainbow. But it is not over. 10-07, left to play in the game. Boys, we didn't reach a time the two, Jim. That can't be time of possession, though. That's that's incorrect. Three plays, 50 yards. Um, it's not 10 minutes and 14 no. seconds. That's that was when it happened in the fourth quarter with that much time remaining. Quarterback draw by Quarles out to the 16-yard line. Bob Stuckey there to make the stop for Nebraska. 9.57 left to play in the game. 24-16 in favor of the Cornhuskers, and they have struck and it reminds one of the way USC came back when they played the ball a few years ago here at a, well you know what I heard well we'll talk about this later rainbows to the line much time left in this game Quarles rolling to the near side looking throwing Walter Murray and it is incomplete it may have been a reception if he was able to hang on to that ball but uh, I think he dropped the ball Jim his feet were in the proper place but I think he dropped the ball so the Rainbows now faced with third down. Let's take a look at this effort by Walter Murray. Rolls to the near side by Quarles. Let's see if this is a reception. Did not Ooh. have possession when he went out of bounds. That's how they ruled it. 9.29 left to play in the game. Nobles and Coleman are playing to the far side. Murray to the near side. Back to pass, Quarles. Looking. Has the time. Goes long over the middle. It is incomplete, almost intercepted. I think it's amazing. Dave Burke was there. Nebraska, knowing Hawaii's good best, had six guys back deep. Their linebackers, Jim, are as far deep as the secondary coverage. They're really creating a crowd back there and making it very difficult on Bernard to throw the ball downfield. 9.22 left. The Rainbows have done well in this game. Make no mistake. But now they find themselves behind 24 to 16. And that Nebraska offense getting ready to be geared up again as they have dominated this fourth quarter. The Tividad, high snap from center, gets the punt away. It is a beauty. A spiral. Fair catch at midfield is called by Fryer, and it will be first down for Nebraska. You know, I'd like, to, I'd like to get something in here, Jim, if I may, and that is uh, had a real good talk this week with Frank Tividad up in practice uh, on the incident that occurred last week with Steve Lee. It was an unfortunate incident. 
unfortunate comment on myself. It was a mistake. I wish I had not said what I said. Nonetheless, Matibida is a class kid. He's going out as a senior with a great punting career here, and I wish him nothing but the best, and I want to get that said. First down for Nebraska at midfield. They lead 24-16, 9-14 left to play. Since Turner Gill has come into this game, Nebraska's fortunes have turned around. They shift back into the eye. Jeff Smith, the eye back. Turner Gill, quick pattern, throws, incomplete. It was intended on the near sideline for Irving Fryer. Boy, Fryer is just an active player, Jim. They run him up inside. He runs the pass patterns down the sideline across the middle. Just a fine, fine football player out there. So it is second down and 10 from midfield. Nebraska to the line. Long count by Turner Gill. Back to pass. Here comes the rainbow rush. Throws it long over the middle. It is off the fingertips of the tight end, Mitch Frank. Great job by Kyle Kenny Blue running with him step to step downfield. Obviously, he picked up the tight end on man coverage. Some kind of a call by Hawaii's defense. We'll see it here. Okay, Gill comes back short drop, but Kenny Blue just running with the tight end step to step down deep. Man coverage. Just a nice job of being able to break up the play. 9.04 left to play here in the fourth quarter. Third down for Nebraska for midfield. Turner Gill turns, gives it on a sweep to the near side to Jeff Smith, breaks the tackle, 45, all the way down to the 41. He is short of the first down. This will bring up an interesting call here. For he is short of the first down. The Nebraska players want to go for it. It will be short by about only a yard and a half. And Nebraska will go for it. Well, with the way they've moved the ball in the last couple of series, Jim, it doesn't, make, doesn't surprise me here. 8.36 left to play in the game. The clock ticking away. It is fourth down. Another key play for the Rainbow defense. Follow Nico Nunga is right back in the eyes of Dave Remington. Nebraska calls a timeout. 8.24 left to play in quarter number four. And the Nebraska leads Hawaii 24 to 16. Here's tonight's attendance. Now, tonight's attendance should be the biggest crowd, 46,876. I, I would have thought it would have been at least 48,000. I don't see a whole lot of empty seats here, James. You demand a recount, Rick? I demand a recount. Anyway, <laughs> hey, it's still a great tribute. There are a lot of Nebraska fans here, granted, but still a great tribute to the Bows. And I tell you, anybody watching this game is going to feel very proud. Great to see Nico back out there now. That's tell you, he looked first before Nebraska called that last time out. He was ready to do battle with Remington. He has not backed up one step from Remington all night. Not to say Remington hasn't had some great blocks on Nova, but I think Paul and Nico's gotten his share too. Nebraska will not go for it. They are going to punt. Campbell is back, ready to receive the snap from center. And he punts. It is high off the side of his foot, heading for the far sideline and out of bounds. So they'll line it up. You know, Nebraska hasn't really impressed me with their special teams play at all tonight, Jim. In all honesty, they've had the field goal, but the uh, the punting game has not looked all that good at all. Surprising. I would have expected much, much better special teams play from Nebraska. Only an 18-yard punt went out of bounds on the 23-yard line. First down for the Rainbow. 8-16 left to play in the fourth quarter. 24-16 Nebraska. The Rainbows are far. From going to roll over. They are far from being out of it. They are still very much in this game. Nobles and Murray are the wide receivers back to pass world. Has all day. Throws long for Murray at the far sideline. He's out in front. The pass is overthrown, incomplete. Oh, I'll tell you, that, that ball had to be 60 yards in the air, too. With zip on it, all 60, maybe 65 yards. Walter Murray's hurt. He's not getting back up. He just extended his body. Here's Bernard coming back. Again, great protection from the offensive line. Nobody near him to pressure him. He's looking for Murray on the street pattern. Nobody near him. Let's the ball go with plenty of zip. Look at the trajectory. The ball all the way downfield. Murray has beaten the coverage right here. Goes for it. Everything off his fingertips. I think he probably hurts himself, Jim, when he comes down. He, he, made, he made a great effort for the ball. I know you see Walter Murray, and they help him up. He went down hard. Nonetheless, another great effort by the rainbow wide receiver 
8.07 left to play in this game. And the Rainbows now faced with second down, 10 yards to go from their own 23. That ball was in the air nearly 70 yards, Jim. Single setback is George Fletcher behind Bernard Quarles. Four-man defensive line, and only one linebacker up. Quarles, looking pattern complete to Patrick. He has the first down, out over the 35 to the 38-yard line. Alan Lide again making the tackle. Good job of Quarles. Nice zip, nice call. They run that pattern inside. Defense is crossing over the middle. They just put plenty of plenty of zip in the ball, and he catches it in the crowd. We'll take a look at it again. Bernard coming back. He's looking. He knows where he wants to go. Nice, nice pattern right there. Confensis catches it between the linebackers and the secondary. Comes up field. Lide comes over and makes the tackle. Walter Murray right back in this game. He is split to the near side. First and 10 from their own 38-yard line. The basket jumps offside, and everybody throws the penalty flag. I think it was Merrill, the nose guy, Jim, made contact. Nope. It'll be Merrill a... claiming that the Rainbows uh, move. Here comes Joe Anello. It's against Nebraska. Illegal procedure, Nebraska. 7.37 left uh, to be played in this game, Thank and you'll see nobody's moving on the Rainbows as we oh. take a look at the replay. <laughs> the only person moving is Merrill. He's the only one in the whole stadium. And, uh, you know, and he had the audacity to try to deny that he did it. You like those nose guys, boy. They're tricky people. Yeah. So it'll be, first, it'll be first down and five for the Rainbows as the ball is moved up to the 43-yard line. Rainbows moving. Eye formation behind Quarles. Wingback is Mike Akio. He is now in motion. George Fletcher. He runs it up inside, gets to the 45-yard line. Short of the first down, it will be second down, and three yards to go. Fletcher he was he was really pinched off that time. There you go. This guy's enjoying it. He's supposed to be sleeping. He's so jacked. How you doing there, fella? A lot of you, vitamins in that bottle. That's right. You'll be out there someday, kid. Keep eating. Keep eating, baby. Good-looking kid. And one of the Nebraska players is now down. I was going to say, you know, Fletcher, the last one, boy, really took it up in inside nice and tough. I'd like to see your backs running that hard. Of course, as we've said, the offense has had a pretty good rest, but nonetheless, they're, they're, they're making a game here. But within eight, Jim, they could get in in time. It'll be second down and two when we return to action. Uh, one of the Nebraska players, we do not know who that is. We have not seen his number. And, of course, all the trainers are around him now and blocking the number from our view. Well, it's a long way from 1976, James. When it was fourth quarter here, we couldn't wait for that clock to tick down as they beat a 68-3. to three. And I think, quite frankly, there were a lot more Nebraska fans here than there were Hawaii that night at that point in the game. You hear these people yelling rainbows with the bows very much in the game. It's a great credit to the players. That's Merrill coming off the field. But just a great credit to the crowd, to everybody, for the effort that's being displayed tonight. Merrill comes off, and the Rainbows will have second down and two yards to go. Dwayne Coleman flanks to the far side, and to the near side is quick defensive. Rolling to rolling is Quarles, so he'll keep it, has the first down, 50, 45, 44 yard line. And the Rainbows are moving. 7.01 left to play now. We are going to keep you informed of the time left in this game. And there you see a, a young man that is finishing an extraordinary year for the Rainbow. Well, watch it over here. Evans, the linebacker, comes over. This is a great play right here. Quarles looking. He gets Donovan out in front of him. He's going to go. Look at Donovan. He's going to come downfield. Evans comes over and makes the tackle. Brent Evans, the linebacker. But nice, nice pickup by Quarles. Good block by Donovan. First down for the Rainbows on the Nebraska 45-yard line. Quarles rolling to the far side. Same play. To the 40. To the 35. First down. Hey, I like it. That's a nice way to play it. If it worked the last time, run it again. Great call. And again, leading was Jim Donovan, the offensive guard on that left side. Carvalho, <laughs> Donovan, Sapolo, Gardner, and Mills. The tight end is Kenny Moore. That is the offensive line for the Rainbow. What a great group of kids, and they deserve this. They deserve to be playing Nebraska tough like this in the fourth quarter. What a great effort going on out there. 6.37 left to play. First down for the Rainbows on the 35-yard line of Nebraska. Now the Nebraska linebackers have moved up close. Quarles with a long count. Single setback is George Fletcher. Quarles rolls to the near side. Quick pattern. Incomplete. Intended for Noble. 
second down and 10 from the 35 and the clock stop now with 6.32 left to play in the game. Rainbow bench across the way, very much in this game. Pep squad exhorting the student section across the way. They are amazing, the students who come to this, to this game here at Aloha Stadium. And to the game's all season long. They come here early, they sit down, and they, they stand up. They go crazy over there. And it is really something to see how it's really been built up over the years. Second down and 10 from the 35. In motion is Coleman. Burr takes the play action to right here. Throw. Incomplete. Threw it too low. Intended for Nobles coming back. Double coverage. Well, it's twice now they try to go to Nobles again. As you just said, they had Nobles double covered. But Bernard not throwing real well to his right. That time again, the ball thrown too low and away from Nobles. Both passes, Nobles really didn't have a chance at the ball, Jim. Third down and 10 from the 35-yard line for the Rainbows. 6.27 left. I'd like to send along our best tonight to everybody in the 50th state listening and watching tonight. Murray in consensus now, the wide receiver. Back to pass for has the time, throws over the middle, it's complete to Coleman, he has the first down, he's at the 20 yard line. Well I'll tell you, Hawaii has executed extremely well at throwing the ball right over the middle tonight. That time Coleman again running that post pattern, catching the ball right in the middle of the field, splitting the zone defense, we'll see it right here. Starts off again with great offensive line protection, they give him Bernard all the time he needs, comes back, sets up, looks, throws Coleman across the middle, Hits him right on the money beautifully. Wayne trying to make a run up field. They give him forward progress to only the 22. Boyle's rolling, same play. That's sweet, the 20, the 15. And he's ushered out of bounds by Tony Felici. Good gain on the play by Quarles. Now the Rainbows cannot settle for a field goal. They need the touchdown. Not only that, they need the two-point conversion. You've got to change. But that may be thinking a little bit ahead. Well, I'll tell you, they've got great momentum going here, and I think it's a real, real credit to the offensive unit to play with this pride. Nobody has folded up in anything, and they're coming in. I like the first down call with Quarles taking the ball in that sweet play. Well, he runs that beautifully. Here come the rainbow. Murray, flank to the far side. Now the yards get cut. Second down and two. Same play. Quarles, close to the first down. Fumbles the ball. Who has it? I, the I ball? think Hawaii. I think Hawaii has the ball, Jim. I'll tell you, I saw a green shirt in there. I think they're going to retain possession. Jim Donovan may have fallen on it. They unpile. Hawaii will maintain possession. That's a lucky break right here. I'll tell you, almost as if, if Bernard had not fumbled, it seemed as if he almost had enough motion to pick up the first down. We'll look at it. Here's Donovan coming up. Boy, I love the way that guy gets out there. Coming up, looks for the block. Bernard touches it up inside. Gets, takes a good pop. Helmet right on the ball, and the ball pops up. Comes down on back of somebody. Rolling around in there. I think it is Jim Donovan. Jim Donovan. Uh, third down. Out. It is third down and three from the 15. Big play for the rainbow. Flip back. Quarrel. Quarterback snake. Broken play. Something went wrong. Something went wrong. You're right. Something went wrong. It was a broken play all the way. And they're going to go for the field goal. Hawaii sending in the Tibidad's coming on the field. The Tibidad is putting the tee down on the 22-yard line. It'll be a 32-yarder. 4.59 left to play in the fourth quarter. Watch out for the fake field goal right here. I saw them practicing it this week. I wouldn't be surprised. The Tibidad waiting. Puts the ball down, though. They're going to go all the way. There's the kick. It is no good. It is off to the right side. And the Rainbows come up empty. They come up empty after a, another sustained effort by the offense. 444 left. That was a little bit of a surprise. Yeah, that was a surprise. I thought I actually thought maybe they were gonna go with the surprise field goal, although I don't know how much of a surprise it would be for Nebraska. But as you said, they don't need the field goal here. About a minute and a half ago, they need the touchdown. 444 remaining in the game. Nebraska now with the ball, first down from the 20, and the rainbow defense called on again to get the ball back as quickly as possible. High formation behind the quarterback, Turner Gill. Roger, no, taking with the ball is Smith. He's to the 30 to 35 to 40. Confensis chases him down, knocks him out of bounds, way up at midfield. In fact, he carries into rainbow territory. So Jeff Smith 
who has come into the game with 52 carries, 503 yards, breaks it up over the middle, and Nebraska comes back with a vengeance. That offensive unit of this is really humming. We'll take a look at it. You just see, gets the ball deep to Smith. He just runs. Offensive line laying out those green jerseys. Gets by Hemphill. Defense is coming over with a great effort to run him out of bounds. Ball is short of midfield. Ball is given to Smith. Now he really runs into the rainbow defensive charge. And it gets from the line of scrimmage the 40. Eight, maybe to midfield. We'll see where they umpire. Really becoming a matter of Friday. Hawaii, should they be able to keep the grass off the scoreboard for the rest of the evening for a play that, you know, would be great, I guess is what I'm trying to say here, to hold them to the 24 points and not break that midfield here late in the fourth quarter. They the tonight, 430 yards in rushes. 405 left to play in the game. Second down and eight. In motion is Fryer. Ball is pitched to Smith. Smith has the blocking, the 40, the 30, the 23-yard line. And Nebraska gobbling up huge chunks of yardage now. Nice block up front by Fryer, uh, the wing back. He just unloaded on somebody. I'm not sure who he blocked, but he just laid out somebody to make that play go. 3.52 left, and the clock running. And Nebraska moving the ball. Great power, offense. Well, you can see it here. Here come uh, the Corn Huskers. Todd Brown flanked to the far side. Ball is given inside handoff to Fryer. Fryer breaks the tackle, is all the way to the 10-yard line. And Nebraska comes back in a hurry. I mean, when you talk about power offense, Rick, you're talking about a team that runs this play, that play, and all of a sudden they're knocking on the door. They put the ball in play deep in their own territory. They are now on the Rainbow 10. Yeah, they want more. I'll tell you what, even if they get on the board, there's still a lot less points than you used to see. But you're right, Jim. They just pick up big pieces of yardage in a hurry. 317 left to play. Turner Gill waited. Ball is given. Wilkening, nobody around him. He takes the expressway into the end zone. Right Touchdown behind, for Nebraska. Right behind Dave Remington, too. Right up over Remington. Great block by Remington. That's a tough break. I would have liked to have seen Hawaii keep him off the scoreboard. A little bit more indicative of the great effort that's been out, rolling on out there tonight. Wilkening just took that hand off and just, it just really opened up for him and he took advantage of it. It looked like he was on the on-ramp. Take a look somewhere. at it. Look at Remington just take out Nanga right there. Somebody else comes through, picks up Kenny Bruin. He's just wide open. A great block by Dave Remington, first block through. Wilkening's eighth touchdown of the year. They tack on the extra point. It is now 31 to 16 in favor of Nebraska. 3.06 left to play in the fourth quarter, and we'll be back. Can we really afford to offer them a second-rate education? The UH faculty asks them. Kickoff by Nebraska. Bounces, goes into the end zone, and will go out of the end zone. The Rainbows will put the ball in play at the 20-yard line. 3.06 left to play in the game. Nebraska trailed in this game going into the fourth quarter, but they have tacked on 24 points. And that is just about the way people saw this game. The Rainbows would play them tough, but with players like that gentleman right there, Dave Remington, winner of the Outland Trophy two years in a row, with uh, great quarterback Turner Gill. They, they, I don't believe, wanted to play Gill tonight, but they had to because of the effort by the Rainbows. And since Turner Gill has come on, Nebraska has been a different team. Back to pass, four. He's going to run the quarterback draw, trips as he comes up over the 20-yard line, and ends up on the 23. 258 left to play. You know, I was talking about that clock. The clock wasn't running on that play. He was already down. Then they started the clock up again. A little bit slow with that. Not that it makes a kind of difference. I'm surprised the clock had not started, and the officials haven't done anything about it. 245, 244 now. The Rainbows break the huddle. Second down. And seven from the 23. Quarles to throw. Quarles is sacked inside the 15-yard line. See, what you have here now, Jim, is that Bowles are in a definitely predictable situation. Nebraska begin to unload and tee off on him. Scott but, Strasburger there with the sack. That is his sixth sack of the season. But the first one, I believe, on Bernard Quarles tonight. We'll take a look at it. They're just coming gangbusters right here. they got a couple of people. Great effort. Coming from the backside, and they nail him. First time they sacked Bernard, he's been getting great protection tonight. Hawaii's offensive line really, really up for the task at hand tonight. 
Third down for the Rainbows. Third down and 15. Quarles chased out of the pocket to the far side. Throws. It is short. It was intended for Nobles coming back to the ball at the 30-yard line. And it's one minute and 51 seconds left to play. When the Rainbows look back on this season, and they will be 6-5 and five at the end of it, and the seniors who play tonight, 21 seniors, will look back on this game, and you always remember your last game the most. They will remember the way that they took Nebraska, the number three team in the nation, and led going into the fourth quarter. They will remember how Nebraska had to go to its number one quarterback, how they led 10 to nothing at halftime. And then how in the fourth quarter, Nebraska's great offense came on. They scored 24 points. There's the punt by Natividad. It is a beauty. Stryer backs up, takes it on his own 30-yard line. To the 40, to the 50. Out in front, he will score. The 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Nebraska. This is the sign of the number three team in the nation. This is what people expected. Nebraska has simply worn Hawaii down. Exactly and now they're pouring it on. That's exactly right. And that's unfortunate because the score will, will take away from the great effort that we saw tonight. It won't truly be as indicative, although it has been overwhelming statistically for Nebraska as well. Uh, as we said, Hawaii just looking, looking so good in, in the intangibles there, Jim, and the spirit and everything else. 55-yard punt. 70-yard return. 37 to 16 now, Nebraska. Fryer has really done the job tonight. Neil Harris with a great block. And Cyberwall now to try the extra point, and he packs it on. No, no good. No good. And it remains 37 to 16 in favor of Nebraska with 133 left. And the way the Rainbows have been worn down now, just punting the ball. I think that's the first punt return for a touchdown against the Rainbows this year. Yeah, I think it's just exactly that, Jim. They've been worn down after having made a tremendously game effort against a very physically superior football team, as we talked about. Uh, there's no question about athlete, the athletes out there. Is, Nebraska's got some physical superiority, but I'll tell you, the heart tonight for Hawaii has been incredible, and well, I'm sure we'll talk about that. It's just sad to see it happen in the late going here that they've, they've been worn down. Without Turner Gill, Nebraska nothing, Hawaii nothing. With Turner Gill, no, Hawaii, Hawaii 37, Nebraska 6. Uh, Hawaii 10, that should be Hawaii 10, excuse me. And with Turner Gill, Nebraska 37, Hawaii 6. I just saw the press release too up there. They're going to name Turner Gill the outstanding back of the game. Turner Gill definitely was a difference tonight. When he came on, his leadership ability. You know, I, I just uh, have to question that that kind of thing that Nebraska says about his hurt back. Remember that excuse? That was a little feeble. Ball oh, goes out of bounds. Rainbows will put the ball in play at the 20-yard line. Mike Scott, as you see him there, he chased the ball down. There may have been some legitimacy to that based on the fact that when the teams came out to start the game, Gill came out late out of the locker room. Do you remember that? He did. Remember? But the, that does was, not necessarily mean he has a hurt back. I oh, mean, no. Of course, sense. this is just conjecture, but right. when he went into the game, his back was not... No, I really I holding him back. Oh, you're right. You're right. 133 left. An interesting point, I think. Cherry the quarterback. Raphael Cherry, the left-handed back to pass. Running number 10 tonight. Throws complete to Mike Scott out of the backfield. Scott gets to the 29, that's all. Short of the first down. 123 left. First jersey went the way of... Um, just got it ripped off of it. <laughs> going to be used as a rag now. 110 left. Back to pass Cherry. Throws. Again to Scott. Makes the rolling catch at the 35-yard line. And there's 105 left to play in the game. Taking a little preview look at next year. This is what you're going to see, perhaps. Scott, Scott and Cherry both coming back. Raphael Cherry staff as he goes back to pass. Throws to the near side. It is complete to Murray. Murray out over midfield to the 47-yard line of Nebraska. Great concentration on the football, too, because there was a defender all over it. Murray just hung on. Take a look at some of these seniors who are graduating tonight. First of all, Brian Almadova, who was injured earlier this year. We want to send our best to him. He's out of his cast, and he looks good. I saw him before the game. Cherry back to pass. 48 seconds left. Chase out of the pocket. Throws. It is incomplete. Ray Butler caught some key passes tonight. Jim Donovan played an outstanding game tonight all year long. The offensive guard, Anthony Edgar, Anthony winding up his rainbow career, said that he will wind up his scholastic career back at UCLA. Chris Fife, tight end, 
Nate Fletcher playing his last game tonight, linebacker. Larry Goas, Eric Giblets, the long snapper. Carl Kennebrew, the linebacker. Lee Larson, the field goal kicker. Steve Lehor, the uh, linebacker. Rick McCommy, Jim Mills, the offensive uh, tackle. James Moore, back to pass. Cherry, second down, throws over the middle. Off the knee of Scott and incomplete. Kenny Moore, the tight end. Frank Natividad, the punter. Bernard Quarles, the quarterback. Jesse Sapolo, the center. Itai Satawa, who did not play tonight because of an injury in last week's game against Air Force. Mark Tuine and Reggie Young. To these gentlemen, we wish you the best. We miss Great fortune guys. to you. We'll miss you and yeah. the pleasure that you have given the University of Hawaii fans this year will not, will not be forgotten and for a lot of years. Class group of guys. 38 seconds left. Rafael Cherry back. Chased out of the pocket. Eluding Cornhusker. Crow. Diving catch. Ray Butler. They trapped. say no. Yeah, he trapped the ball. 27 seconds left to play. 37 for Nebraska. 16 for Hawaii. And the, the senior walk will be after this game. What a great football game, Jim. Great football game. Great football game. Fitting fitting into what Dick Tomey called himself a bittersweet season, they sweetened it up some with this. And, they, and these guys sitting over, standing over there now as you look at them should have their heads up because they played a great football game. Jeff Freeland is trying to, no, that's Dirk Powell to the far side. Back to pass Cherry on fourth down. Throws long. It is incomplete on the five-yard line. It was intended for Dirk Powell, and there's 19 seconds left. So that being fourth down, it turns it over to Nebraska. And Nebraska now putting its reserves into the game, and the crowd here applauding the rainbow effort tonight. Nice ovation. See Steve, Lee, Steve Lee on crutches there. Just got a quick shot from the sideline with his foot wrapped. Hope that he'll be okay. Mason's back in the game of quarterback, Jim. So Nebraska has put its reserves back in the game. Yep. Mark Morvick, where you see the Lehor on the sideline and crutches. Eye formation behind Mason. Ball is given to the eye back to the 50 to the 48 yard line. Carrying the ball that time was Tim Brungard. That should be the last play of the game. I don't Eight, seven, six seconds, five. There you see the scoreboard. And it is over. Nebraska has defeated the Rainbows 37 to 16. And the Rainbow fans stand and applaud the spirited effort tonight by the University of Hawaii. As both teams meet in the center of the field now, Rainbow players come out wishing Nebraska good fortune in the Orange Bowl against Louisiana State University. But it is over. And they're going to try to tear down the goalpost. That's a little bit anticlimactic. And here come the security guards. I don't think they're going to be able to do it. We'll be not back. enough. There you see the end of the game. Dick Tommy shaking hands with Tom Osborne. There you see the handshake. 37 to 16, the final score. Some of these statistics already handed to us. Nebraska, 582 yards in total offense tonight. 486 yards in rushing, 96 yards in passing. The Rainbow, 308 yards in total offense tonight, 93 yards rushing, 215 yards passing. Rick, it was a spirited effort. You have to go back to that. It was a do-or-die situation for the Rainbows tonight. If they could beat Nebraska, they were going to play very hard, as Coach uh, Tommy said. They came out, they did just that. They did everything you could ask a football team to do, and they, and they certainly... Uh, statistics aside, in three quarters, not only had the lead, but we're out playing them. As we said, the halftime, I think even out coaching them. I think the line that you used, and it's a line of former head coach Larry Price used to say all the time, physical superiority canceled out all theory, and it just simply took over in the fourth quarter. What we saw tonight was a manifestation of everything you try to teach in football. Pride, determination, the will to win. Hawaii put it all together tonight. They just didn't quite have enough. But it was a very prideful effort, and I think it was a fitting way to end the football season. Six and five will be the record of the Rainbow. Six wins, five losses. That'll do it from Aloha Stadium for the 1982 football season. The Rainbows of Hawaii losing tonight to Nebraska, 37 to 16. For Rick Blanjardi, this is Jim Layton thanking our crew, thanking you for watching. Aloha, everybody.